<clears throat> oh man, we're gonna have uh All right, and we're live now that. by the way. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, okay. I love we how have... the first thing everyone hears <clears throat> is just Andrew coughing. <laughs> yeah, incredible. <laughs> don't worry. So, uh, uh, all right, Ozzy. Make we're sure we're following social distancing. Yeah, don't join the same team as me, social distancing. Well <laughs> shoot. Uh I guess I have to turn on alerts now. Can Shit. you believe that our very first match is going to have a fucking reborn? <laughs> I, look, man, it's Embon. I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, but, but our uh, it also has age one. So oh like, my god. We got some wild boy but shit happening. I guess before we start, I should also explain. Uh, hello, I am Red Muffler Man, and joining me today is Crispy Kuso Boy, aka Andrew. Aka as... Andrew? That's my real name, though. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I I know you by multiple names. It's true. Is it your real name, though? Yeah, it is my real name. Can anyone confirm that? Uh, apparently, there is one person in chat yeah, that could people confirm in chat. Yeah, there's a couple people in chat that <laughs> confirm that one, actually. Yeah. There's one person in chat that could dock the Crispy Kuso boy. <laughs> but, and then we also have uh, Ozzy, if you would also like to introduce yourself. Hello, I am Ozzy, known as Little Ozzy Vert. I it's horny tweet about Tieria on Twitter. On Twitter.com. But, uh... I, I don't know about such things. But, uh, today, we are going to be, uh, going through a little bit of an Embon exhibition. It's sort of something we put together last minute, because normally I would do a lobby on Tuesdays. But I'm currently suffering through the symptoms of, uh, having a pinched nerve and some temporary carpal tunnel. So I can't actually play anything. So I thought, what if instead of playing Gundam, I just talked over Gundam? And I'm like, you know what? That sounds cool. Ozzy's like, that sounds cool. And we put together an exhibition series in two and a, in one and a half days. And so that there there's the story. That's our narrative. And without further ado, I guess we should be able to get started as soon as I go into the full screen. And then, uh... For the record, I'm fine. Like, I have no pinch nerve. I just don't want to play. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. There we go. And now... So, what are the... Who are the first two teams, by the way, Ozzy? Uh, so we have J.U. and Pompadude versus Shinzo Beam and Tempest Lancer slash Senna. All right. So I'm getting the UI with the player name set up real fast. And for those that don't know... The way that we're doing this is we have, what, about five or six, or, yeah, we have like five six. or six matches worth of, of, uh, of teams, essentially. And we're going to be yeah, doing yeah. about five or six first to fives. And that is our goal for tonight, essentially. So, oh, and then Shinso Beam and who Tempest is Tempest Lancer is just Senna, S-E-N-N-A. There we go. So essentially, this is going to be first to five tournament rules. So every suit, everyone is suit, winner is suit locked, uh, yeah. but no one is burst locked. And so we're essentially just going to be kind of commentating over everything, shooting the shit, having a nice time. And hopefully by the Not end me. of the night, I everyone has. A uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, but, I, I insist on having an awful time. Sorry. <laughs> but hopefully by the end of the night, everyone has gotten to see some good ass Gundam. I have got to fucking change the notifications to just be off for now. Also, make sure you switch the stage to. Uh, I am just about seven. to. I am just okay. about to. Not leaving on random. <laughs> leaving on random. Like that's that's, that's, that's the thing the real is, tournament point. rules. That's uh, Bandai rules. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Bandai rules? New Hong Kong? No. So, so Bandai said, rules, shit. you Holy say. Shit. No, 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 no. I was joking. I was joking. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. I fucking don't. Oh, shit. If, 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 if Papa, Papa Bandai, Bandai says so, who am I to say no? They give me my Digimon cards. Oh, my God. But, uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Like, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. We're on site seven now. We're all good now. So... The voice of Papa Bandai. Also, oh shit, Initial J228, thank you for the follow. Shinryu Kaiser, thank you for the follow. But without further ado, uh, it's looking like first match, uh, we're having JU and Pompa Dude versus Shinso Beam and Tempest Lancer. I am very familiar with Pomp and JU as one of the residential dem, dem boys. Shinso Beam, I've definitely seen around. Tempest Lancer, I know I've seen the name, but I'm not quite as familiar. <clears throat> I don't think I've played them as much. Uh, Sen has been playing. I, um, they're uh they're around in the uh I know them mostly from the uh the French the Northeast French Red Discord actually. Gotcha. So they play um <clears throat> they play uh under night. Oh. The hit the hit video game. <laughs> the hit video game by French Toast. Yes. But without further ado, I guess let's get started with the first match of the night because I've been stalling for thirteen minutes already. Well, frankly, I think they have no chance because Sen is only a corporal, so I think there's no way they can win. I think. I see. Really a rank difference. Rank but difference. What's <laughs> what's the best burst for unicorn? S burst free. All right. Let me see. Oh god damn it! The sides are wrong on the team names. I hate this. <laughs> Whatever. So is, so is the way this works? I just watch whatever perspective I want. And I Pretty much. <laughs> Okay. And uh, watch whatever perspective you want. Although I'm going to be focusing for now on reborns. And then from there, I'm going to also be swapping around whenever I see big plays happening or when people burst. So I think the way they want this to play out, the, each team wants this to play out, is actually um, uh, because Cheridim and Reborn are really strong on like, the team. They can just kind of, what they really want to be doing is just stalling and just like. Um, like play like holding L and like just try to hold their formation. But um double seven sword is actually quite strong time on like dual suit. Mm -hmm. So what their what the um Senna's team is gonna wanna do is break into their um powerful defensive formation and cause chaos and then like just like hope things get out of control. Alright. Because all right. um but I think like the um the longer the match oh that's that's, right. how, that's about to happen I think, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, and then big C S B but nothing out of it. I think the thing is that um, with uh, Cheridim and Reborns, the longer the match goes, uh, the better it is in their favor because um, they keep getting shields, they keep getting the um, uh, Garrow Fangs and like more opportunities to go in as Garrow Fangs. But um, the Blow Seven Swords and um, Age One have a lot of explosive like, oh my god, shit is happening, like, like power. So yeah, I know Seven Sword has a lot of just like uh, comeback potential with the fast charge CSBs. But then we have Reborns, who when he bursts, Reborn. he's just allowed to say, no, fuck off, I, I play the video that, game. The Reborns with the Charitim Shields and F-Burst is really fucked up, actually. That's super fucked up, dude. That's super fucked up, yo. Yeah, like, this situation is now looking really, really bad for Sunday's team. I think, uh, what, what could happen is they could, uh, if they kill Ju and Ju doesn't have any, and Ju, like, messes up an E, then they can still win, but, uh. No. Oh, yeah, and there, that was it. Oof. I think this will be easier for me to commentate if I just focus on the perspective of the 3k instead of having all four screens open. Yeah, that, uh, I know, I swapped effect. to the perspective of the Titus right as it had bursted, and it's just <laughs> like, oh, hey. So, I'm gonna do this for my sanity. Uh, slightly increased volume of Andrew. Okay, I will increase him again, because I increased him a increase little bit. Increase Andrew. Everyone I have, have more Andrew. Increase Andrew. Increase Andrew. Let's see. Oh, shit. Shara, thank you for the gift sub. But let me see. So that is <laughs> first game to pump to pump a pals. Is that their team name now? I might as well be. Yeah, definitely. One thing I'd like to uh, point out quick is 
uh, Senna and Shinzo actually have a lot of different comp variations that they play, so we might see some switching if they're not intrigued on sticking with the Seven Swords uh, Age 1 comp. I think this is a very uphill situation because of Age 1, because I think it's difficult for that suit to break into this defensive formation. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have that much boost, and also, like, you know, like, catching Cheridim is fucking hard in this game. Like, I, I, I used, in full boost, I used to be like, Look at this idiot. Like, what's he gonna do to me? I'm just gonna jump at this guy and beat him to death. And now it's like, oh my god, this guy's actually gonna run away from me forever <laughs> because I have to keep baiting out his, like, self-defense option. Okay, so things are looking kind of good starting after Senna's team right now. A lot of good stuff, um, but there's no punishment off just then. Alright, okay. uh, by the way, Andrew, you might want to talk a little closer into your microphone. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Alright, is this better? Yes! Alright, wonderful. Um... Okay, but yeah, so the, like I said, it's in Pomp's favor to keep like this match going longer versus going in and having situations like scramble situations because just like their team will constantly be like, oh, oh and die immediately and dies in burst. That's not good. That's dangerous. Yeah. Um, Pomp is just point, chilling on top of. <laughs> I would also say at this point it's um, probably a better idea for um, Senna to hold their second burst because the time that they burst uh, on their uh, like for their first burst is definitely not a half so if they do another half at this point they're not going to get a third burst so they might as well just hold their second one and try and make it as good as possible actually that was a really good use of the flip from Jayu to just immediately get the punish on, Sin on Shinso very spicy oh, oh my god Pomp, Pomp, who is this Pompadou guy he's out oh of control my god. he's actually just doing shit like he's out of control he's flipping with, with he's going Ross nuts. Going at him. he's going nuts He's, okay, he's good landing punish. Oh, hey, but actually, um, Jay was about to die, so actually, this could still turn around. Maybe this is a good burst. Okay. Alright, seven swords going in. Oh, no. Um, oh, oh! Wow, oh. life is full of unfortunate things. Okay. Oh, my God. So they die in order. Um, Jay dead. Okay. Things, things actually, as long as, um, things can actually still, uh, go okay for Senna's team, I think. Alright, so right now, he has CSB anymore. on deck. He's going for it? Okay, he did not. Oh, he. Okay. Barely clipped Jay with the CSB. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so Jay now basically it's basically Pomp is just going two v one right now, and Jay's just going to give shields. Like there's Pretty nothing much. else to be done. I actually think Jay is a little too close right now. Ooh, Jay's E is out. Oh, but um, Shinsaw dies. But um, that was actually like um, that was life or death. Like if Jay had like if if they hadn't won before Jay's E had run out, that was about to become what a, like an actual life or death situation. I think yeah. that would have been really really dire. All right. Okay. So holy shit! So two two zero to the the the, the Pumpa dude fellas. I almost transferred Ju over to the other team because I'm very intelligent. Do it. Get rid of this dude. <laughs> oh Get him out of here. God. Mix it up, man. If someone pays five hundred dollars, I will kick ZGMF Testament. From... <laughs> is co is coconuts <laughs> is coconuts in the chat right now? He might be. The patron saint of five hundred dollars to kick ZGMF. <laughs> kick ZGMF from the exhibition. Remove five hundred dollars. <laughs> Alrighty, so like I said, I think um in this situation, like, like I think there is a clear um way that uh Senna and Shinzo can win this, but it's um it's definitely an uphill battle. This is a big thing. Part of the reason Reborns is so powerful is because he, he can control the pace of the match like so well, essentially. Yeah, basically. Like, what he, and like, Reborns can really, like, their team, I think, um, Pomp is playing a little bit aggressively, but their team can literally run away until he gets shield, until he gets the shield and then go in. Like, and that is, like, a really fucked up situation because yeah. it's Reborns set play and also he has this shield. So it's like, well, you know, like, double unmalleable. Oh, and then wow. meanwhile, from full screen, he can throw all the fangs and funnels and that still forces yeah. movement. And if yeah. you fuck up that movement, then you get tagged. And then because meanwhile, the Seven Swords yeah. a suit that specializes in like self-defense. But if hey, no one's really right coming now. at him, then it's kind of hard for him to initiate yeah. in that kind of I also, he, Yeah, I think Seven Swords self-defense is strong and his time on is strong, but it's like this team is not trying to 1v1, so it's kind of like... This is looking good for them right now, though, I think. Well, okay, no, no, Okay, so uh, CSP okay, is gone. CSP was almost. Almost, almost. All right, so it looks like um, Sen is going for the overcast. Oh, that is Doesn't such a good landing punch from Jayu. Well, that fucking shit is cheap, like, actually. The fucking, the, the auto-facing funnel bits, this is so bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> alright, but, um, okay, so, alright. Here comes Titus. Titus. Rock, boys! Oh I think, my. okay, so, instead of doing the correct, instead of doing the right thing, going in with the, um, with the partner first. Oh, and there goes Pomp. Okay, now Jay's E is out. 
I think at this HP value though, Jay would definitely get second AD. So that's a good burst from Jay. Oh, pop burst. All right, this is a good burst too. Oh my god, why did he oh do that? <laughs> He's gone mad. <laughs> He's lost. He's lost. We lost him. We lost him. <laughs> Papa Dude goes for the Reborn's Candy Garo. Three ties with all the two ammo moves. So oh my god. Power, power move for him. It's what a hero. What a fucking hero. A hero to be sure. The situation is looking pretty um, pretty nasty for um, Senna's team right now because they're about even. It, uh, Senna will not get another burst. Uh, where's Titus? Titus has a burst right now, so... Oh, hmm, I don't know about that. Ooh, so, God. like, if I think it probably... Their comeback chance was probably... They kill Ju and then Titus uses his burst to chase... To, to force the second E. But I, Titus... I Honestly, I think in that situation, they may have been better off just trying to kill Reborns twice. Also, also a possible way to victory, but I think that was a little bit dangerous and crazy because, like, the situation that happened there mm -hmm. was that, um, so Titus bursted, right? Like, like, Age 1 bursted, but the, and, and then it goes for Ju, and Ju happened to kill the Age 1, but even if the Age 1 kills Ju at that point, it's kind of like, well, like, um, the that won't win you the match and it's only a half burst so the age one will definitely run out of burst by the time ju is back like yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, or yeah, yeah. or like if you hit ju and then he flips out to run away then he'll up, like you'll run out of burst and he will just run away like so it's kind of, and, and Senna's not gonna get another burst so it's kind of an awkward situation they're really sticking they're sticking to the age one team i still think there is a path to victory for this team but um i definitely think it can work but they have to find a way to be able to really swarm ju i think yeah, well, I think I think that is so fucked up and hard because Sheridan actually can is kind of chilling double lock. I think Sheridan can run away like like as long as they're not shooting back. And then you know if Sheridan's just running, focus on self defense. Like even if Sheridan's not like putting out a barrage, you know you don't want to not look at reborns. Exactly. So like at least think, one person should be looking at reborns at like yeah. all times. So. Well, exactly. Like that's what I'm saying. Like the, I think the the way for them to win is they just need to time on like crazy and win. But um. It's very difficult because, you know, these are two very, like, strong players, so not easy for them to just do a timeline conference, like, for the moment. But that would be their way to victory, I think. Like, they would have to time on, and they would have to, like, uh, confidently, like, both win their 1v1s and then just, like, create, like, first come to three. Nice confirm. Okay, is this about to be stuff? Right. These are good bursts. Oh, this is a lot of damage right now, actually. Oh, well, it's not a dying burst. It's, uh, that's unfortunate, I think, actually. I think their uh, Senna will only get two bursts. Now. That was a pretty good burst sequence, but I think they lost it too much for it because um, they took so much damage during it as well. Oh, oh good, that's a, almost a good Garo. No, you're not in burst, Pop. You can't do that. Dude, it's the Reborn's, uh, the Reborn's CSA. You can tell that Pop could play full boost. <laughs> no, you can tell. You can tell that Pop plays Brave Commander because all he wants to do is flex. Because oh, this, this that's all that Garo is. It's just his Reborn's flexing like crazy. He's, well, he, he truly is like literally like flexing his body. You know? like, he really is. Okay. So let's see, let's see what's happening right now. I think Pomp is playing a little bit too front right now. Though I guess like Sheridan can't really front that well. So it's kind of like... But this is looking like a situation where Senna, Senna's team can pull it out. Because yeah. Senna is about to get a second burst. Oh, oh that's it! That's it! That. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There Who we go. A, there we go. Who needs burst? Who needs burst? Yeah, oh, Pomp, so. Pomp definitely moved forward a little too much there and just took a lot of damage way oh, too fast. Yeah, I think that was very oh, dangerous shit. because because Senna, like, Pomp started to take a lot of damage, but Senna hasn't even bursted yet. So, like, it, that was very, very risky because, like, uh, so let's say that Pomp didn't die in that interaction. Like, right? Yes. Uh, Senna gets hit one more time, Senna bursts, and Pomp is, like, like dying like basically right like i think i don't remember if pomp had burst or not i wasn't looking at the perspective i should do that next time. uh he i think had burst right at the end if i could remember i actually yeah, was I not so able to pay as much attention as i wanted to because my stream alerts were going off and i had to turn those off so oh, i was gosh, because it was alerts. like oh hey stream alerts apparently loop forever apparently if you're not on the scene where they're playing and i'm like what what is this garbage so now I know. But right now, 3-1. This isn't a blowout. I'm already happy. Because I was getting a little scared when it got 3-up. But now... This is also going a little slower than I thought. Should I, like, update the guests? It's probably going to be, like, 10 o'clock, actually. Uh, nice. I would update people just in case. Okay. Just in case. But also, I feel like this first match was going to be slow regardless because Ribbon's Allmark is here to save the day. 
Yeah, but he, yeah, but, but Pom is not playing slow, so <laughs> Pom is like hella going in, I think. Which I think is not a great idea. I think it's working out because they are winning their interactions, but I'd say a big strength of, of Reborn's Charitable is that you really don't have to fight, like, um, unless you have, like, a huge advantage. Yeah. Because you can be going in with all your shit up, you can be going in with the, uh, the Gagas and the girl. Oh, nice block. Um, the Gaga and the, the shield and all that other shit, so it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know, what are you supposed to do about that? Oh, is he in? Right. Pom takes Still a lot up. of damage early on. He has shield bits on now, at least, though. Pom, Pom going for a Garo on with no Garo loaded. I respect it. But, um, I get. Oh, look at that. So, this is actually a good situation for them, but, um, okay. Yeah, this is a good situation for them. Because this is what I'm talking about. Like, wow, how the Age 1 Seven Swords team is strong is like, they just are like constantly going in on somebody, and then, like, whoever is like trying to protect their partner, like, gets hit for free, basically. Yeah. That's like the essence of a strong time on team is that like, like oh man, my partner is getting the shit beat out of him. I'm gonna go help him, and then as soon as you go help him, I don't know like Tolgis two or something is there and he beats the show. Like, so oh, I shit. think that's like what they want to do. Ooh, bursted oh, pump with shield draw. bits. Let's go! No! Let's go! That's, that's big actually. damage. That's like what like uh, 500 damage swing. That's crazy. Yeah. That's okay. that is huge. I noticed that Shinzo was mostly playing age one, like, like like Titus. Like what the fuck is going on? I, I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I I'm also really confused that. why he feels like he really needs to rock the nation. Hey man, like, uh, I don't know, Dawn's good in Ace vs. 2 or something. I don't know, I don't know man. Like Some shit like that. Um, okay, but it's still looking kind of okay for, uh, Pump and Ju. Actually, it actually started off pretty bad. Never mind. Um, <laughs> well, let's see. With Reborn, it's always just one Garrow away from a totally different looking situation. Yeah. Pop gets first. At this, yeah, go, okay, okay. You know what? I never mind. I think this is fine. Oh uh, yeah, this is. Oh, full burst out. I didn't realize. Okay. Up, so, the Gagas. Good. Main. I think unless um, I think this could be bad though. Like because um, now Senna's used their full burst, so it's kind of like a situation where they may not uh, even if like this uh they don't die soon. Like they might not have the resources to close out this match. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, at this point, Ju and Pomp can play as slow as they want because yeah. they really don't have to be. They don't have to fear a big push. I but don't know if Pomp is Pomp will get staying pretty burst, close. Like, yeah, I think Pomp needs to back off a little bit because um. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because because this can happen. Like like I think the Reborn's Garrow Fangs are not like super good at hitting stuff passively, but um they can, and when they hit, you die. So it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where it's just like, when no burst is on the table, I feel like Reborns has no real reason to approach all that much because he's yeah. better at playing passively than the majority of the cast. Yeah, well, well, but also he can approach on his terms. Like he can send out his funnels and then approach them, right? Exactly. Like he doesn't need to like go in without stuff. Like he can be like, I'm gonna fight you with all my all my buddies and I'm gonna fight you with like, like six guns and I'm gonna fight you and you're gonna have nothing. and. If I don't have those things, I'm just not gonna fight you. I'm gonna be over here. <laughs> you know, like, and like, what's Seven Sword gonna do from like that, that far away also, without yeah, CSB first, on that? Also, yeah, first, you just take a 50-50 where that you're like 70, 70, 20, 7, 30. All right, let's see what's going on here. Right now, uh, it's looking pretty like uh, Senna and uh, Shinso are diving right into Pomp and Jeyu formation, which and on Jeyu and Pomp are retreating, which is a good idea. Oh, good Gagas. Okay. Um, I think Jeyu and Pomp are holding pretty like okay defensive formation right now, which is good. Pomp right. has the shield, so he can basically win an interaction for free. And then, uh... Okay, so right now, I should just drop the quick. Good Pomp is playing um, this game really safe. Chinto He's going really into the slowed H1 down, Sparrow I at long last. The legendary H1 Sparrow. I said he was playing slow, and then all of a sudden, Age one's like, stop that, no. Alright, here you go. Okay. But it doesn't look like he's gonna get much from this burst, and it's already gone. No CSB. Uh, and yeah. He was frames away from dying in burst. Holy shit! I actually think in this particular matchup, it's pretty hard. Oh my god, he blue stashed right and, and he got caught by the girl. Um, it's pretty unfortunate because I actually think against this team, it's pretty hard for uh double seven swords to hit a CSB. Like actually, yeah. or do a CSB because um. Oh, but pump dies in burst. Oh, pump dies in burst. That's okay, okay, that's yeah. that's kind of big. That's kind of big, yeah. But, um, oh wow, the fucking, the Reborn's, uh, back third shot destroyed the rocket that was coming towards us. That was pretty wild. Okay, um... 
Page one just kind of was hopping around. All right. Oh, that was good on Pump. He uh he saw that uh Shinso was using a lot of boost and just like swooped in like a shark to kill him on his landing. All right, so people on burst right now. Actually, if Ju dies, if actually Ju burst is pretty bad at that point because now he's not gonna get a second burst. Like actually, okay. Like, when he respawns, he will die before he gets a second burst. Yeah, yeah, but he um he does he's not gonna get a knee before he dies. Like actually, so now um Ju basically has is out of the fight and just pump it. In. And Titus and Age One Titus first, but but Age One is not going for. Oh no, there we go. Age One is going for Ju. This is the life for this situation right now. All right, okay. good on Pomp for protecting Ju, and nice. that's it. Nice, nice, nice. That's it. That was pretty. That was pretty dangerous because, um, like I said, Ju had a kind of a bad uh, burst. So, like, um, because Ju e bursted to to protect himself, but at that point just die because like. If you e-burst with like under like 128 health, like around that health level, uh, you you might actually just die before you get your e-burst, like on your second life. So that was pretty dangerous, but it ended up working out because um, Jay pulled through and like made it out play even though H1 had burst. So yeah, that's, that's why Jay's survivability there at the end was definitely a really big factor there, and like, yeah. and also the fact that Pompa Dude was literally just like, okay, I'm now going to treat Jay as if he is my firstborn son. Like, yeah, he, in, he was in, next to lock in, on Stratos, and he's like, I've seen 00 season one. Not again. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again. Never again. Never again. But okay, oh so God. that was the first set. Uh, that was 5 1. Lovely. Damn. That, or actually, uh, hang on. Was that 5 or was that 3? That was, that was 5, wasn't it? It's or, three. No, it's three one. It's is three, it one. three one? I I yeah. no, that was, that was five one. Okay, because I was looking at the teams and it said three wins, one losses, and I'm like, wait a fucking minute, what? Yeah, like that's what I'm looking at. I'm like, what the hell? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm, I was pretty sure that was five one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was. I saw the numbers on screen and I thought I was having a stroke. Gundam commentary, man. All Yo, right. man, it's uh, hard. All right. So who's on next? Ozzy, that this is your department. Uh, we have. Testament and uh, who's his teammate? Sleek Nick with Sumeragi and Most. All right. Oh, baby. Most so. actually started very recently, so this will be exciting. I haven't seen Most play since um, a couple months ago. Most was a very new player and uh, went j towards like uh, the end of like full boost, like right when the M Bond beta, like right before the M Bond beta came out, I believe Most joined. So I'm interested to see how they play now, their growth as a player since then. Oh man, and of I course I also noticed am... that they changed their. They, I also noticed that most changed their PSN from most Supoda to Imposter Four Twenty Sixty Nine, which is <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a way better name. Personally. <laughs> All right, hold up. Let me rejoin. Oh yeah, that's right. Ozzy has to do that PSN Black Magic. All right, so on the that's left. That's CPO two. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and then it and it's is... not Lion Magnus. That's the best part. So uh let me see. Sumeragi and who was the uh, what's the name of the other? Most. 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 I will not call him an imposter for <laughs> 26. So I know Most is a uh he's a longtime uh Dissidia vet. So oh. he's played oh. similar games to the EX versus series. I didn't know that actually. Oh, I just gotcha, knew he gotcha. was like a, a SoCal fella or NorCal fella. He's a California. I think he's in he Washington in. or something actually. What oh. the fuck? I, I thought he was like Asses Boy. Well, whatever. Um, He used to play Reborns, but now he plays G Self, which, you know. Yeah, he dreams, does. I, I know he has like a nine star Reborns. Um, that makes yeah, sense. Because I he think he plays with Sumeragi. He ge uh, generally plays uh, Darkhound, is what I usually see. <laughs> Washington oh, is just NorCal too, guys. I think that's just that, how it goes. So, Sumeragi uh, used to only play Epion, and um, now plays this too. Which what the what the hell? Why am I yellow bar to ZGMF? Uh, this is cursed. Uh, <laughs> this is cursed. <laughs> You know, I hate that ZGMF guy, just saying. Oh so... <laughs> we, should, we, should, we, should get, we should get rid of him. Uh, $500. $500? dollars $500 donation to Extra Life. <laughs> we, will kick, we, will, we will kick ZGMF in the match and ruin everything. Oh my god. Alright, but I guess we're going to get this started with ZGMF and Sleeknik versus Sumeragi and Most. 
And I'm oh, also baby. I'm always really excited because I am a filthy full saber main just like ZGMF. Uh, ZGMF and I play this matchup all the time, and uh, it's the dumbest game of rock paper scissors I think I've ever played. It like actually, which, which, which matchup? Part, like into Extreme Gundam? Extreme versus Gundam? Yo. Because I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck. Like that suit. Like I think only Sumeragi plays that really. Actually, um. That seems very wild because in burst, it, if that the strength of extreme versus Gundam is in burst, if it counter bursts you, it just wins because it has a shooting card shield. Oh my god! Yeah, so that, that that's the thing that that does, and then he puts on the clown suit. And just yeah, and then heroes. oh man, so against the yeah, team like Gisa, oh no, here we go. <laughs> but against this team, ZGMF is probably gonna have a hard time getting in because of just the amount of shit oh, they're gonna shit. be shooting. Oh no, but uh, unfortunately, the uh, you have got the down before the uh, the nuke connected, so sadly, yeah. um, you think it didn't get a combo to do. I think you is actually playing way, way too close. Oh no, no, Garo, lucky. Um, because I think, uh, no, I think yeah, you're quite right that this um that because of the GPL too, their team doesn't really have any pushing power. Yeah, it's and, gonna be difficult uh, to really push up without nuke, and even yeah. then, nuke isn't exactly no, a. I don't think nuke I is want to push in. That's more of a, oh no, Nuke is coming, I have to move now. Did you know that? Oh shit, Nuke hit no? Nuke! Oh my god, incredible. Oh okay. my god, ZGMF first? had you so much boost. Oh my god, I think this is it. Oh, this let's go, moment. let's you, go. I hate the ZGMF no. guy so much. I hate him so much. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate that guy. Like, I don't, I don't talk to that guy. I don't like that guy. Like, I don't know the fuck that is. <laughs> Alright, so, so ZGMF accidentally in burst got overexcited and whipped his burst attack in green lock over to himself. <laughs> Oh my oh, god! Hey, we got the hey, we got the GPL two burst. Extreme versus Gundam is about to die twice. So yo, this actually. Yo, yo, oh, yo, yo. Wait, wait, pressure! G cell uh, hit extreme versus Gundam with pressure. Yo, what the fuck is going right. on? What the, the fuck is happening? ZGMF got hit by his part. Well, his partner got hit by his own nuke. And overcomes it. GPL first, but should be okay. A full saber can survive <laughs> unless ZGMF does something stupid as fuck, which he's doing right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh my god. Ah, ZGMF, man? why? Okay. Don't worry about it. He got, I think he's got about to have another burst. I have he fucking... Needs to save it so that he can... I have so I much anxiety. I don't know really what's going on. ZGMF is about to do a girl with, some, with a shot coming in there. What are you doing, ZGMF? Oh, never oh, mind. No. All right, it's okay. He is burst. He can yes. he can survive on the last slide. He is burst unless he dies right now. God. I fucking hate this guy. I, I hate, hate this dude. You so I hate him. <laughs> uh, Why? <laughs> oh my god. I, oh my god, dude. You are burst. You are burst. You are okay, man. Oh my god. I I have so much anxiety. <laughs> Oh I my so god, dude! Oh, I have oh so god. much fucking anxiety. Oh my god, I'm I have I have. Mm, mm. All right. Oh my. I don't need to, I don't need to say anything. I don't need to say anything. He knows what he did. He knows uh, what he did. We he don't need to. Did. We so, don't need to comment on that. I'll I'll say um an amusing thing about GPO two is that he was really good for like a week in maxi boost and then the Bandai cops were like we can't have such things and they removed the armor on his melee which used to be his gimmick. That's depressing. But... Yeah, he used to like when he powered up his um his uh his two B he would like uh like when he powered up his beam saber with his CSB or whatever the hell then he would actually get armor on all his melee and they took it out and they were like don't worry we'll fix him and they just kept giving him like 50 hp and now he's like 850 hp which i believe is the most in the game jesus but christ he's still not good but he's still not good so. oh god damn it zgmf and i had it perfect and then i made it unperfect and now That's zgmf okay. is on the wrong side of the screen again this is great who is that mysterious federation officer piloting the gpl2 i have no idea i don't know because, man yeah, GPL2 has 680 HP, which is actually, I believe, like, I think that's like, almost the most of the game. Uh, like, Master and God both have 700. Did you know that in, in Maxi Boost they had 850? Video games, what the fuck? Video, yeah, well, it's because damage scan is a little higher. No, that's fair, that's fair. Oh, hey, dude, um, the, he got a uh, GPL2 getting a sleek nick getting a good confirm off the, uh, the Dom assist. GPL2 assists are actually crazy. Oh, um, God, what the hell? That was the extreme versus uh, okay. uh, Garobi. It wasn't a new, no, it wasn't. It, wasn't it looked that. very looking, yeah, confusing from that perspective for a second, just because of the way the cameras were positioned. Okay. So I think amusingly, even though I normally am like, okay, so full saber is like a character that does not, um, that I think is like powerful defensively. I think in this situation, because they have GPO2, it's probably best that they go for scrambles. 
Just because GPL2 has so much health, it's probably in their favor to trade. Oh, oh good confirm from, from ZGMF. Quantizing oh, oh. like a coward. Picks up with the so, burst. Big damage swing with the super. I want to I want to say that Sleepniak is a very good partner because he was about to melee the guy and just and destroy everything, but he like uh, stepped away last time. So very honorable of him. Um. Okay, but and uh, he shoot versus has burst, which means that uh, he's gonna win every encounter. But um, ZG Math uses the uh, quantum magic and it works out. I mean, look, man. Mm -hmm. If they have shooting guard, you beat it with a move that has shooting guard. Shooting guard oh, yeah. doesn't stop shooting guard. Shooting guard doesn't stop punching. It's not exactly. Punching that would be strange, I think. <laughs> That's what the Veil thing is, right? Punching guard. <laughs> oh my god. Meanwhile, okay. though, ZGMF this not in good shape. Very, this situation is very spicy right now. I think the best thing for Sleek Nick to do is hold on to that burst and use it as a full burst. But he uses it aggressively. And then, um, G And then counter burst uh, to just get out of the situation. I think. I think in this situation they've lost some resources now. They um, definitely lost because, uh, because the situation, unless something like incredibly stupid happens, which could, it could, it looks like it's about to actually. But um. Oh no! Hey. Is this is this the inverse of the la of last game? Yeah, because it's not because um ZGF's team. If I check ZGF right now, oh never mind, he's dead. Um, I was I was going to tattoo his perspective to check his burst, but now I don't have to because he's dead. <laughs> because he uh, now knows like, you no longer have a burst when you die. Yeah, you no longer have a burst or a life. But um, I was gonna say that uh, I think the ZG map. Uh, the only way I think they could have won there is ZG map held his half and then used it to close out the match. But because um, because you have two as a melee suit, um, I would say he really needs Z because uh, you need to. Ha it's good to have your aggressive first burst, your aggressive first half, and then your E to flip out on the second life. Yes. Because the problem with 2.5k and the reason 2.5k is actually worse than 2k in full boost is because um it's precisely because without e-burst because e-burst doesn't exist in full boost right yeah so the problem is that if you're playing a 2.5k you don't get a burst your only burst is basically your flip out burst at the at, on and like when you have 140 hp left like, you know what i'm saying yeah because if you use your burst before then the only way you can have a burst on your second life is half burst the first time and then half burst the second time right before you get hit and dodge instead of flip out so and, it's a lot more risky and, and difficult to do. Yeah, and so basically in full boost, you had all of these 2Ks that had really good tools that were more consistent because you're able to stay alive. Or the 2.5Ks yeah, exactly. that had really above average tools, but if you fucked up once, you were dead. Yeah, and you don't even get burst. Like, like in this game, as a 2.5K, because of E-burst, you get to, um like, do stuff and burst and basically, like, get a free, like, interaction, like, or, or win a free interaction. But if you don't have E-burst as a 2.5K, you have to play, like, full boost, which is, like... You just hold your burst, or you half, and then you half again before you get hit. ZGMF is, just got away with- I, I just need to comment right now. ZGMF, if you saw what I just saw, got away with fucking murder. Tell me about it. I was lucky to get Sleepnik, actually. <laughs> oh my fucking god. ZGMF uh, meleeed Sleepnik, and then happened to fall right as Agaro was about to snipe him out of the air from a whiffed melee. Good job, ZGMF. I'm proud of you. Alright, so, ZGMF um, popping burst. Oh baby. Darily oh, avoids pressure but gets, oh, no. gets Garrowed out very of his super. Did you have very little health now? Actually, Sleep Nick is doing a really great job staying alive right now though, that's pretty good. Um I I'm just noticing that um Sumeragi has the uh, the Sithesia um Navi, which I think is terrible, except for the detail where the timer is on her hat, which I think is super fun. That's cute. But, Everything um, else about that UI, I'm game. I'm not about it. It's not really about hideous. it, but I'm about the timer. I think the timer on the hat is incredibly funny. So I gotta give this. I gotta give this. Oh god. Okay, so this situation is looking a little bit bad. I think at this point, ZGMF really needs to just go in and kill himself because um, uh oh, oh that, this no, is not good bad. now. For that's me. really bad. I believe Sleepnik is holding his burst though, which is the correct thing to do. And now if he you know, like gets a block or like one other thing, yeah, now he's a full burst, so he's still be able to burst down and survive if something goes wrong. All which right. He's probably going to need to. They won second. the double time on. Well, actually, I believe um, now he can't flip out because whatever hits him next will kill him. So he just has to burst before the shot comes, and then he, uh, that's his last chance. But he has to hold it for as long as possible. I think they actually don't have a chance to win. Oh. If most, um, ZGMF was oh. almost a genius for baiting that pressure. But then he hit the wrong button to actually bait the pressure. Oh my god, what's happening? I think oh. I you know, delayed a little oh, bit. Oh, shit. That was pretty, like, um... Unfortunate. I would yeah. say normally, I normally advise against anyone ever doing anything when the opponent is in e burst because even if you hit them, they're not going to take that much damage from it. But uh, in that situation, because Sleek Nick was about to run out of his burst, it was kind of like, yeah, you have to do something. Just uh -huh. because after that, you're about to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, so far, this is three games straight.
and ZGMF and Sleeknik just haven't been able to, like, really bring it in together. Like, I feel like ZGMF is taking just, like, this way, at least from my perspective, I feel like he's taking a lot of damage just way early on. Yeah, I think so too. I he's think taking he's a lot of damage early on. He feels strut. And I think I think he has room to kind of just breathe, calm down a little bit, because like Ex versus from what I remember of that suit at least. I know it has the gear. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this is one other reason he shouldn't be moving in. He's gonna move into his partner's nukes. It's terrible. I think the thing is, I think the thing is, ZGMF is getting antsy because he realizes that with GP up two, he doesn't have any pushing power. But I think part of it is that. Uh, he still needs to trust his partner, even if it's not like, even if it's trustful to do so. Yeah. Because I truly believe full saber can pull double lock forever. Like, and he just doesn't have to get hit, basically. So, yeah, that's like, if he true. just plays a. Yeah, exactly. And and because, because he has. Uh, I like to describe it as. You remember the Sinanju, like, barrel roll sub from fucking uh, GPS? He just has of that. Of Also, it's a free fall. Yeah, yeah this... he has that, but also it's a free fall. So, like. Yeah, like, I play on, this okay. suit because it is literally Sinanju. It's just a hundred. It's, it's like he has set that like on that, so it's like kind of wild. I'd say, oh my god, what is going on? Well, this is in their favor right now. This is a really good scramble for ZGF's team and a burst, so he can confirm. Oh, but most is a good E. Yeah, that's a good E. That's a good E. I don't know what ZGF is doing right now, but like, um, okay, but Sumeragi does the um, Sumeragi uh, S burst and kills uh, GPL2. So actually, now things are looking really oh, bad. Geez. Uh, but I wanted to say there, I, I think ZGMF that that made ZGMF's, okay. uh, I, I wanted to say that that made ZGMF's burst worth it, I feel, if only to just get rid of oh, G-Self's burst. I think so too, but um, I think ZGMF basically has to back, up, back the fuck off now and just let GPO2 1v2, because um, when he responds, he may not get a burst. Exactly. Actually, no, he's gonna, get a, he's gonna get a burst, but he won't get a flip. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. So now ZGMF is scary. dead. Well, 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 he should, actually, I don't think he's that bad because, um, just because he's full saver, so, oh, what the hell, um, oh, he's pushing. okay, well, he's I think that, I think that burst was not a good idea, but, like, I think that, um, I think because he was full saver, he basically could have just, like, been chilling forever and then counter burst, like, if someone burst to, like, finish him off, but it looks like, um, Sleepnik's doing work, so it actually is kind of working out, and because, yeah, once again, he's, um, full saver, so he basically... At this point, I don't think ZGMF literally needs to go to Greenlock and just, like, think about his life and stuff. And, I, and I also Sleek think Nick. that, but now Sleeknik is starting to bleed. The, uh, good block! Oh my god, good that's Good counter melee, oh, that's that it? it? Yeah! Oh my god, that was very good. Oh, ZGMF clutches it out! Yeah, that was that was good, actually. I think that was, like, a really, like, clutch situation. I claims think he didn't victory have to be the there jaws in the first... He claims victory from the jaws of not victory. I think he had to be there in the first victory. place. Oh, fuck. I think he didn't have to be there in the first place, but um, I'm glad that he did what he needed to when he was oh, there. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Like that was definitely ZGMF went out into the intersection when it was red, and he's like, "Oh fuck, I've already made the bad decision. I may as well fully commit at this point." Oh my god, dude, that's how he plays this game. <laughs> in general, ZGMF lives in that fucking red. He he, re he lives in the intersection, man. Like, I'm always telling him, he's always doing the Garo and double lock. I'm like, dude, you don't have to live this way. You can chill. You can cross this green. You don't have to do this shit. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully, well, hopefully that will um, restore his 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 uh, his confidence. All right. Play this one a little bit more cleanly. Because I think I think Sleepnik is doing work, like, if ZGMF just lets him do stuff. So, actually, I think he should, um... He should play like in quest more often. Did he even just try to friendly fire his partner? What the fuck? Did he even falter? Uh, oh <laughs> no. Is that the is that the fabled Nishikinomaki JP? Oh my god, Nishikinomaki JP, the real guy. Oh my fucking oh. god! Okay, okay, okay. Can we get a like? I, I, it's too late, but oh my god. Next time we have ZGMF on the exhibition, can we get ZGMF gets hit by friendly fire new counter? Like, come on. So, I think I, it's been like I think most the, of the games. Right? The funniest <laughs> thing about that is he Fua stepped out of a combo to avoid getting cut and fell into the nuke. Classic That's the most ZGMF. tragic part of that. Okay, ZG up first. I think he's a little far for the first to be good, but it might work out. Oh, Tries no. to force him. Oh no, that the was no, highly the... unfortunate. Holy he boost dash left and got hit by the G self assist explosion. Highly unfortunate. And he almost died in burst. Oh, this is going I, really yeah, bad now. Oh, ZG up. Even if he didn't die in burst, he took damage enough that, like, he, that's a lot of damage he's not gonna burst. I don't know why he did that. So, ZG up really had a, did something foolish there because he, like, boost dash to try and punish G self. But Extreme Versus is like right there, you know? Like, there's no reason for him to do that. Oh my god. Oh, okay, that's pretty wild. That was a good really situation. good, really good melee confirm. ZGMF's balls are huge right now.
Uh, once again, falls are always future. Like this how he plays. Like he just like, he, he just goes to the intersection has... and he doesn't know what brakes are. Oh, yeah, but he's like, I'm going to fight forever. Okay, good, good burst by Sleep Nick. That was smart. And then yeah, Sumeragi dying in burst though. Okay, yeah, there's, there's, there's still in it, I think. Actually, this is still in it. Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say this is potentially winnable. And then all of a sudden, I looked at Sleep Nick's health and I was like, oh wait, wait a minute. The, the health wasn't the point where I was like, this is not winnable. It was the point where he is like in burst and he wins the situation. He gets G self's E and I'm like, this is good. And then he boost dash to move away. But unfortunately, um, Sumeragi is there. And so he's literally like, he's literally like GPL2 sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Like he's literally between the two guys shooting at him. I was like, oh, this is unfortunate. All right. But, um, so it was pretty good until then. Do you think that ZGMF and, and Sleeknik can win four straight? Do you have faith? Uh, I believe in anything. Uh, <laughs> well, I think they can actually, just because I think their team actually has like huge, because GPO2 is still a damage still full saber actually. So I think um, their team has enough scramble potential. I mean, it's, it's been close a couple times. Like I think it's that, I think the problem is that ZGF is playing incredibly like too fast, but I think that like he just needs to play like a little, like, a little bit more safely because he's constantly doing crazy shit. Like if you see what he's doing right now, He's like diving their formation, but there's like a guy behind him. Like he's like diving through the formation. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh god, I don't think he's going to be... in too hard right now. He need to be taking these kind of risks. Like like it, I think he's just stressing he's going in. But like every see these situations, he's like chasing after guys and like landing oh with guys god. next to him. He wakes up. Yeah, that was not that I have nothing to say about. That was like a very ZTMF's like, life bar. I don't know what happened. I looked away for a second, and his life bar is like peace. I'm out. I think, I, I don't want to write on too hard, but I think that was actually the worst burst humanly possible because now he actually will not get another burst. Oh, like, no. like, I think he might not get another burst now and he bursted in such a way that he got like 75%. So it's not even like a full burst. It's like a burst that means he won't get another one. Oh, <laughs> so no. it's, it's very, I think it's a very, very unfortunate burst. But I think he's, he's just playing too crazy. Like the reason he bled so hard was because if you saw, He's literally diving the enemy formation so hard. Like right now, like Sumeragi's right there. Like, you know, like he's diving guys and he's not looking at people who are right there. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, CG oh has God. still one HP. Is it but time? he has burst. Is it, is it time for an Aquas miracle? Is it time to, for the school to be saved? Oh by my Nishiki God. Omaki, JP? Uh, uh, is it time? Is I'm it? so scared. <laughs> okay, never mind, oh, never mind, we're good. Never mind, okay, never mind, never mind. Never mind, uh, we're school. good. The school is the school is doomed. Everyone had to you know, move away. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe it. The school has been shut down. It's over. I can't believe it. They didn't win Love Live, man. They didn't win shit. Love Live. <laughs> I'd like to imagine right. that if you don't win Love Live, your idol group gets thrown in front of a firing squad. Like, just imagine Honoka being like, we did our best, guys, and then what just- What the fuck, man? Dude, I, I, I was gonna make a joke, but there's a movie coming out I can't spoil, so like- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my shit. God. But I, I can't believe um I can't believe uh fucking uh the school got shut down. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I think the first matches were very very I actually think the first matches were a lot closer than ZDM maybe realizes, but I think that um if he had slowed down a little bit it probably would have been a little bit better. I think towards the end he was taking damage so often in in such haphazard ways, he wasn't actually able to regulate like he wasn't able to time burst or like like um like manage his boot his burst meter at all because yeah. he's just taking too much damage like that, the, he basically kept forcing scrambles but like it was a situation where like he did he didn't really need to be because he was trying to force scrambles but they're staying in formation the whole time so it's like yeah watching a dude flailing his arms at a party and you're yeah. just like what and then well, it's he gets too he's close you just to... punch him yeah well he's also trying to force scrambles like with the guy who's like behind another guy <laughs> like you know like a big thing in this game is that um, the part of the reason the meta in Japan is so incredibly defensive is because um, the good characters in this game mm -hmm. and characters in general in this game, it's very hard to punish anything in this game because they've nursed beam rifles so much. So you need to punish with very specific tools for the most part. So it's actually very difficult to go in and force damage, like just in general. Mm -hmm. Like you can only really do it if there's like a really huge discrepancy in player like 1v1 dueling skill. Yes. Uh, you can you can just rush the guy who like can't defend himself and then he dies and then the guy who's his partner dies trying to save him, right? But for that to happen, like you really really need to be able to just two v one both of them in the middle of the enemy formation, and I think that is a really difficult thing to do. 
Yeah. Especially if they know you're gonna try it and they're just gonna double lock you because Sleek Neck, not only does GPO two not have the guns to keep up, he literally like even no matter what suit he's playing, he like physically wouldn't be able to keep up with the pace of the match, basically. So I think um I think it it was it, a lot of the matches were a lot closer than it, it um was it was obviously like what then was what then what was like apparent. But I think towards the end things really fell apart because EGMF was a little bit too like antsy and a little bit too focused on trying to force damage when that's not playing to the strength of his character as well. Yeah, I definitely agree, because, like, with Full Saber, like, you definitely have the ability to just, like, move in and out. And, like, I feel like that's the biggest feature of the character, is literally, is sub up. You're allowed to move in. Is sub down. It's time to move out. And, like, yeah. what, what ZGMF well, well, kept doing is he kept throwing like, sub really and just staying in. And he just kept yeah. staying in and never really played to the strengths of, I'm allowed to poke safely and play from range and not really have to worry too yeah. hard because no one can hit me. But he wasn't really taking advantage of the fact that you yeah, can move I think so it's basically. difficult. Okay, one second. I think second. it's a, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's uh, get our next match started, yeah. Yeah, yeah course, you okay. need to reopen the room right. somehow. Uh, yeah. Okay, room is back open. <laughs> okay, there. There we go, there we go. Sorry about that. I, I got really, no really into, into Andrew talking. He's hypnotic. Yeah, Thank yeah, I, I didn't want to interrupt that tangent because I was kind of just drowning in it. I was taking, I, you can't see me on camera right now, but I have my little notebook open like Izuku from Hero Academia. I was taking all the notes, making sure that I had everything that Andrew was saying. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, don't flatter me like this, man. <laughs> okay, like, but, but I do think, I do think one thing is, it, uh, you know, I, I'm knocking him, but it is hard because i think the thing with full saber is that he isn't that effective at long range so you kind of have to be close but you have to be close and also be committing to not getting hit which is difficult so i understand but um it's not like he's an idiot everybody's not an idiot uh we love him and even though we kicked out 500 dollars oh i you know if someone had donated 500 dollars i'd have thought about it but also next match Ooh, we have AKA... on full saber so we have aka genesis who is not playing front actually that's surprising to me normally okay, i have uh, also been informed it is aka genesis as in oh, red in japanese hi okay but it's isn't that akai or no no, no, no aka can like, also mean red aka can okay, also okay i see mean, yeah otherwise known as genesis <laughs> no i always thought it was other all, uh, uh, like I also known did as too, but yeah right. i was informed it is aka genesis and not aka educational stream <laughs> the more you know. All right, so I'm gonna put has no neutral down as ROA because I know that that is his other handle. Okay. And then uh, lunchbox is my brain is shutting off right now. Final beast that's king. That's one. Final beast king. Yeah, that's final yeah. beast king. I I do like this um this contradiction between like or juxtaposition in the last match we had gpo2 now we have gpo3 dark hound age fx and full saber all so right we are... so so suddenly we are literally hopping we okay everyone take a trip as we find ourselves in the far eastern land of the japanese meta <laughs> japanese meta. okay so um this team i would say that um in general, the way this team is going to work is that Quanta Full Saber and Dark Hound are a little bit stronger in two 1v1s, and so that's the situation that they're going to be aiming for, whereas GPL3 and HFX are just going to run away the whole match. Yeah. Their team is very good at and just hold defensive formation and, like, co um, come for each other. So I think um, that's probably the uh, situation that we're going to experience. All right. So let me make sure I'm doing this right. So we need to close the room. And then... But I'm actually super looking forward to this match. Like, I... Because I basically play all of these characters with the exception of Age Effects. So I'll actually have a lot of shit to say somewhat. So I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Well, but I feel well, like um, if, if this is played, uh, like, optimally, this is going to be a very slow game. Yeah, because because neither of these teams are, like like, going in teams, for the record. It's just that... I don't think Full Saber and Dark Hound can win if they just try to like, like play slow. Like they have to do something at some point. Full Saber definitely has GPO to push. 3. Yeah. Yeah, they want to push, but it's so hard against this team. So we'll see what happens. 
Yeah, because Age Effects just... has tools to defend himself for days, and then they, uh, GPO3 uh, is GPO3. Yeah, this is this is gonna be uh, very difficult for whoever's in double lock on uh, uh, Lunch. Lunch is such a good username. But, um, like, alrighty, so things are looking kind of. Uh oh. Uh, things are no longer looking very normal. This is yeah, not Final very, Beast very King had himself that. set up in a really rough L formation there. He's actually still in it, which is, like, not yeah. um, a little bit unfortunate. He really I needs he... to back off a bit, I think. Oh, okay, God. I think he's going into our day's burst, so this is, the, this is the time some shit is gonna happen. Actually, whatever's going on on the POV I'm not watching looks pretty good, though, because, um,. GPO3 is actually getting fucked up right now. 360 degree right. guard, baby! Oh, baby. <laughs> I don't have to evade! I can just oh guard! <laughs> you know that beast pressure, right? No, I know, it's disgusting. Oh my god. I'm 360 not, degree guards are actually incredible. <laughs> yeah, I don't, fuck, I don't fuck with that. So, unfortunately, Lunch didn't, wasn't able to accomplish a lot of his birds. I still think there's, this is a situation that's intensely winnable just because HFX was kind of like. You know, like, if his partner just starts melting, there's not a whole lot you can do about it, so we'll see what happens. I mean, uh -oh. Age Effects is the kind of suit where even if your partner starts to die first, you don't even really care as much. Also, I just noticed he's this... actually playing F-Burst Age Effects. That is interesting. That yeah, that's is... actually not the norm, which is surprising. That is, that is that is very interesting. Okay, E burst out. I don't know that I agree with that E necessarily, but that's okay. Um, man, it's still looking pretty good. Well, lunch needs to back off. Yeah, um, lunch he, definitely he's needs a, to back he's, off. He's at 282, and like uh, the enemy, the enemy three he hasn't bursted yet. It's pretty. It's like, I think lunch needs to back off. Okay, Darkhound going in. That's um. Unfortunately, Darkhound's burst is notoriously not incredibly good. <laughs> so like. I mean, but, they set up uh, a good L on GPO three, and honestly. At this point, I think they can take- At this point, three three times, right? Like, sure, yeah. yeah. At this point, they can yeah, take I mean... advantage of the fact that you can kind of just ignore Age Effects when oh, he's in base now, mode. Now, now, he's yeah. screaming! <laughs> can't ignore him anymore! Oh, jeez! Oh, no, okay. All right, well, let's please stay down, for the love of God. Okay, he's staying down. He knows what's up. All right, all right so, all right. Age Effects' burst is out. I don't think Age Effects is going to get another burst. Oh, uh, straight up. So, that's pretty- that's fucking pretty good. Eh, yeah, my oyster. Um, okay. Yeah, Age Effects is not going to get another burst. And oh, that's it, side. yeah. Unfortunate. Darkhound can chase you in like, that situation, like, but he's not catching a, an Age Effects. Well, Age Effects, catch you, just probably can't down you. Exactly. Like, even if yeah. they do catch so him, what's he gonna do? Shoot him? I actually think at that at the point that they they need to like there could have been a different a different like an alternate timeline where they at the point that they realize that GPO three is dying a lot, yeah. they can just they just start ignoring Age Effects so he doesn't get burst mode because he wasn't gonna get a second burst. Like, he, he, he wasn't gonna get another burst, so um, as long as he didn't get into burst mode, you can just ignore him for the rest of it. Pretty much. Like, I think I think they actually, where they messed up was the moment that they decided to actually start going after Age Effects before killing GPO3 a second time. If they had killed GPO3 a second time, then I think going after Age Effects would have been more viable, because in base mode, it's a lot easier to kind of ignore him and not, not yeah. have to really deal with him. Because even though he has a ton of tools for defending himself and poking, he can't really push super hard outside of burst. I feel. Yeah, for sure. I think I think it's the thing that he said that HFX is a little bit like Sazumi, where he's actually a fairly high tier character, but he doesn't um his his win rate in shuffle and in low skill environments is not good because he can't play fast. Exactly. He he he's literally relying on taking damage to play fast. It's kind of, it's kind of not great for him. Also, I'm just noticing, looking at his HUD, uh, G Shadows has the Tomashi Nations HUD, which is very ugly, but I use it for a time too because I think it's cool. Hey okay. man, that that HUD's nice because it lets you know that you have a good taste in figures. Yeah, exactly, exactly, but exactly, exactly. You understand? I don't understand. Anything. Okay, all right. I'm, so I'm mostly right talking now, about like the the fucking Tomashi Spirits uh, figures because those are great. But back to the match. Let's we'll not talk about my toy obsession. Well, well, we are literally playing Gundam here right now, for the record. <laughs> but like. Okay, so, oh, go, good burst from lunch. All right. Um, that's like 239. This, yeah, this, oh, oh my god, and lunch hit both of them? Okay, it's turning it around. This is looking pretty good. Oh, uh, you're not um, cutting that. Don't try to cut that. Yeah, don't even oh, try. Oh, my god. no, that oh, was no. a mistake. Oh, no, did lunch die trying to cut it? That was unfortunate. Yeah, he yeah. died trying to cut uh, CCAB. Damn, that is, fu that is fucked up because I actually think if he had just stayed on um, the GPO, uh, the GPO3, that might have actually been cool. okay. All right, hey, uh, Darkhound picks up the kill on HFX. Um... Uh, Aka, uh, Aka Genesis is not gonna get his, um, get a, get a, he's not gonna get two bursts this match. So he's, he probably, he either is gonna half and not get another half in time on the second life, All or right. he's gonna burst. Oh. Okay, interesting. 
All right, fronts are bursting. So Beast King's going in with this burst. After this burst, he definitely needs to back off because he is in kill range. Oh, no, he's dead, dude. Oh, oh no, mind. good cut. Managed good cut, to cut, cut right at the beginning of the CCAP. I, I would not have got up if I had been Oh, at, uh, steel bits. Board. Oh, my God. Please stay, stay down. down. Stay Holy down. shit, I'm begging you. Okay, he didn't stay down. I, I can't. My voice can't reach him. Oh, oh no. my God. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um... What? What? Oh no! Oh no! Very unfortunate. Well, he got hit by he got hit by Grace's grandpa from off screen. Oh my! Very unfortunate. <laughs> Have you ever heard it called that before? I've <laughs> heard him called that. It still just catches me off guard every time I hear I hear him called Grace's grandpa. Grace's grandpa off screen. Oh man! Off He's, screen he ruined, he ruined, he ruined grandpa. Thanks <laughs> you ever <laughs> ruined Thanksgiving from off screen? Yeah, he's oh, ruined, he's ruined Thanksgiving, and now he's here to ruin your ability to win the match, unfortunate. Feels <laughs> bad. Yeah, I think uh, I think Legends would play a little bit slower, just because, um... Honestly, here's the thing. Here's the big thing in this game. If you are winning, and you burst, and the enemy guy has to burst to protect himself from your burst, you're actually winning. Exactly. Like, you're winning, like, in the resources. So, at that point, you can fuck off. Like, you don't need to go in and force an interaction as long as you've wasted their burst, and they're unable to force one. I really like has no neutrals a uh, HUD. I was using that for a while. Um, <laughs> oh jeez. Oh yeah, actually, HUDs. that's a pretty good HUD actually. But oh, yeah, I oh, feel like boy. in general, Beast King slash Lunch should slow down a bit. He's trying to push really hard when he. I'm not going to say he doesn't need to, but he needs to pick his shots a little better. I think he actually doesn't need to. I think like comp wise, he he does, but I've noticed that um. Aka Genesis is actually taking a lot of passive damage, like general from from being a double lock. So and because of that, like I think it's okay for them to just play a little bit slower, because I think like um, as long as their barrage is threatening them, like your suits have incredible self defense. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you might as well. Like, and right now not we're necessarily what your copy sells. And right now that's what we're seeing right now. It looks like lunch and everyone has slowed down, and G Shadow has taken a ton of damage already. Yeah, definitely. And lunch hasn't even bursted yet. So and, and he's about to get a half. So it's like pretty good. Oh. Mm. Now is he gonna is he gonna burst here? Is he gonna take the risk? I think he should. I think he should for the record. But um, I think he definitely should. Okay. All right, full sabers bursting. Burst. Okay, and they got the kill without the burst. Oh, and there's gonna be a uncuttable combo. Oh, but he eat out. Eat Very out, but he forces him to use his burst with the last sliver as his burst. So that's super yeah, yeah, definitely. And and age effect burst. And doesn't I believe the age effect doesn't get that much from the burst either. Okay, looking pretty good. I think it's a little foolish to not be looking at the burst with age effect. I also think that. Oh god. Yeah. Dark Hound okay. is kind of in trouble. I think Dark Hound will be okay because he was Dark Hound, but um, like, as long as he I focuses on movement. Oh, and, okay, Dark Hound's oh, dead. Never mind. Never mind. Everything's everything's bad. Everything's okay, bad. Dark Hound doesn't have a Dark Hound doesn't have a second burst, but um, oh my God, he needs to block otherwise he's not gonna get. Get some he needs to move. He needs to move. Oh, okay, he no. needs to move. You can well, do it, Dark Hound. You're the super that's pilot. It. Something, something, super pilot. Something, something, Grace's grandpa. Okay, oh, so um, Grace all right. Dead. <laughs> so, so I think at this point he's stabilized. He's moved a little close oh, to two kill three. Is, that's it. Bad. No. They had no, stabilized yeah, and then Dark Hound moved back in. And the burst, the burst is very it. unfortunate. Like, he is literally unable to get. If he had been able to take one more hit, he would have gotten the second burst. But uh, yeah. unfortunately, that, it, was, it didn't work out. Yeah, that and, was unfortunate. Uh, yeah, and, and, yeah, and then he dies while... Um, because here's the thing, right? If you don't have... If you... I mean, okay, so Dark Hound theoretically can just run away from two people outside of burst forever. But, like, it's hard. And if you fuck up and... Like, because here's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm watching, like, a little bit delayed on this Twitch stream right now. Yeah. Even though Lunch has all that health, because um, Dark Hound doesn't have a burst, like, they're just running him down, and Lunch cannot fight off both of them. Like, you know? And they're, like, not afraid to overheat land and do crazy shit, because they only need to hit him once to finish the match. That's the danger of not having E-Burst. This, this is a PSA. It's all 2.5k players. Please pick E-Burst so you're not in that situation where your oh, partner is you're being right. totally Score annoyed. is switched. Let me fix that. I'm so sorry. Let me fix that. I got myself hit with the mix-up. Okay. There we go. This slope is dangerous. Uh, Thank you very much, friends. Okay, Lunch is doing kind of Lunch doing good right now, I think. Yeah, this is good evasion from Lunch. Okay. This is like what I want to see, honestly. Like just this, just keep doing this, man. Like you know. Well, I don't know about that, but like do what you're doing before, where you just like 
I think Full Saber is really powerful in this range where he's just kind of like vibing in front of you, but you can't push in on him because he'll kill you. But you know, yeah, like, because you can't he has sub, him and they and they've been holding them on that hill for a while, and that hill's a bad yeah. place to be on. Yeah, for sure. Well, I just think like this is the strength of this character. Like you know, he can be very close and not really be in any real danger. But the difficult part is that is hard to do. <laughs> like even if it's like on paper, that's how it works. Okay, yeah. and and uh, uh and uh, Alec has been hitting a lot of good CSAs here. That is has no neutral. He has, for yeah, this has no neutral. Shield. Has no neutral has been hitting a lot of really good CSAs. He hasn't been getting downs because he's Dark Hound, but the damage has been getting there. Yeah, for sure. Oh no, it lunch dies before he gets to do his first half, but that might be okay anyway. It should be fine. As, exactly. Oh. He's bursting immediately. Oh. He's going to try to make a push here. I think that burst a little bit crazy, but I don't know. We'll see. I think he's going to get another one. Oh, nice. Oh, there he does. Oh, oh, the oh no, no, the drop. Oh, oh that is that's okay. huge. He got the flip, he got the flip. Actually, no, this is great. Um, Because of the timing that GPO3 burst in, he's not gonna get a second burst. So if they finish off GPO3, they can just rush him down, like straight up. Because GPO3 is not gonna get a second burst. Like, like actually. Like after he dies now, that's it, it's over. Like, like um, but the problem is that AGFX is in, is in burst oh mode. Oh so my God, hard doing please stay down. Oh my God, Lunch is yes. about to die. Okay. All right. All right, so Lunch needs to back off now. He basically has to leave it in the hands of Darkhound. Darkhound got this, Darkhound got this, I think. At this point, actually, AJFX is suiciding into lunch, so I think, um, outside of Burst 1, so I actually think it's in Dark Hound's best interest to just kill AJFX, which he's doing! Good job, Alec! Very, like, like, Sai, Alec! Oh, let's but, go! Beautiful! Team combo! Incredible. I feel bad for, um, for, for popping off so hard because I'm supposed to be impartial, but, um... No, man, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry! Sick. That has nothing to do with impartiality! That was just a good play! <laughs> yeah, that was godlike. Um, they played it very well because, um, I, I want to say that, uh, that was, a, uh, that was a really good decision making control because he could have gone after GPO3. Like, it was kind of like a 50 50 situation to go after GPO3, but he chose not to because HFX was suiciding after lunch to try and finish him off. Yes. And that was great because it meant that GPO3 had to overextend to, to be part of the fight. And also, like, HFX like was just melting in double lock. And then because of all that, lunch was able to hit a Garrow and, like, totally turn around. So, yeah, incredible teamwork by those guys. For very, real. Very, very spicy. For real. Okay. Very, so, very spicy. So. I think if Lunch can keep playing the way he was at the beginning of the game, where they were taking it kind of slow, they weren't really overly committing to anything, I think that they got this in the bag. Also, uh, Lex, Lex I mean smart guy. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, that's, what? That's what I, I said, I said, uh, I said, uh, oh, Lex I, when he just always said he's smart. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Is, is this... Is this is this my daily Chinese lesson for the day, or is it some slang can't, shit? Can't 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 these can't <laughs> Oh, okay, cool, cool, right, cool. No problem. Okay. The more you know. The more you know. Okay, so uh, let's see. It's it's looking a little spicy, but uh, you know, sometimes it always is. I think a big thing in this match is burst too. So I don't think I don't. Uh, uh, Lunch's team is a little bit deficit right now, but I don't think it's something they can't recover from. Uh, GPO3 is already really close to 400 and like the match just started, so I think that this still has a plenty of opportunity to go along. When you consider that in the 3k, 2.5k combo, if everything happens as it should, the 2.5k only has like a total of like 630 health, 650 health. Yes. Um, being at 460 already is a big deal for the record. Uh, it doesn't and being finish even the lower down. than that is an even bigger deal, unfortunate. This lunch is uh, mostly a hot scramble player, so I don't... You know what? Um, but he's doing pretty good, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, burst! All right, full saber burst. Oh, and he and he gets the hit. Very spicy. Good burst from a good rare, burst from a rare and, moment. Oh my oh, god! Fuck. And has no neutral goes in with him. That's beautiful. This should be punished. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, that's no, dead. This is bad. Oh no, this is bad. This Holy is shit! Really okay, bad. this is really yeah, bad. He has no neutral coming in, and he's definitely not gonna get another. Oh, that's it. He's dead. <laughs> You can't escape! Unfortunate. That was like, like, truly, truly a comedy of bad situations. So what happened was, um, what happened was, uh, Lunch gets the kill on HFX. That's perfect. So that means that briefly GPO3 is in double lock. GPO3, yes. go, um, Akagenesis goes for a melee attack on Lunch, which should be a guaranteed punish. Unfortunately, as he goes for the melee attack and, like, makes himself punishable, uh, HFX spawns back in, bursts and kills, has no neutral, has no neutral... E burst to punish Ooh. the GPO three, but then dies in the E burst to the um, HFX, and then respawns with no um, with no burst with no burst, and it's instantly killed. And, so and and meanwhile, the one thing to keep in mind 
is that Age of Facts didn't burst on his first life, so he was sitting on a full burst, so he was yeah, still exactly. in burst mode when he exactly. spawned. Very unfortunate. So I think Very thing, unfortunate. One one thing, this is, let this be a cautionary tale. If you are at 2.5k and you have like 130 health left and you haven't half bursted yet, you should probably just hold it. Just because um that it lets you avoid like kind of very uncomfortable spicy situations on your last life that where the enemy creature just like runs into you and like uh, beats you to death. Because without your E-burst, there's not a whole lot protecting you from all that. Oh no, they all both right, so got hit by They're both already taking just a lot of passive damage just from like basic I, pokes. They both got hit by the um the is that is that a racist grandpa to the girl one or no? Uh, I actually I don't know if that I think that's racist grandpa. I'm pretty sure that's I think it's racist, racist grandpa. grandpa. Yeah, like, you know with his with his racist grandpa gun and such. Yeah, that's the thing. But hey, they're kind of, they're kind of coming back right now. Jeff is taking a lot of damage. Like, once again, it's just passive stuff. Um, wow, this is looking. Wild. They're this, trading, this is... but the trading still isn't quite working in the favor of has no neutral in lunchbox just yet. I feel. Yeah. I, I think I think burst will I think the burst will decide everything. Like, Definitely. The, like the first like the, the like the first like first interaction will decide everything. Which we should be seeing that from Age Effects uh, here yeah. in a moment. Has no neutral is taking a lot. Of, has no neutral is actually taking like. Oh, uh, we're so we're almost looking at an overcost situation at, at this at, point. At this point, no, actually at this point, I'd say has no neutral is the front and then lunch is lunch holds his burst and behind his back now, which straight up. Okay, and now uh, definitely uh, no. he should. Yeah, yeah, Lunchbox okay, needs okay. to just move away because has no neutral is now the front. Yeah. That's just the well, way has it's no neutral is such a burst. Okay. All right. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Good burst. Good burst, and, and Lunch went in at the same time and was able to get a, a 280 damage off on the GPL 3 too. So perfect, perfect using the burst. Now Lunch just has to play very safely, basically. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, you know. <laughs> oh! Okay. Catches him out okay. of the carol. No, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Lunch is now like... He takes, he takes a GPL 3 burst, it's not worth it. Tech, tech okay. directly into super. Okay, oh, this is bad. That was lunch, a bad Lunch burning. actually used to completely fuck off like, into the next county. Like, this is bad. Like, you need um, to stop burnering, my man! I oh! what fuck? Okay. Good block! Oh, oh. No. oh my god, but, but has no neutral is absolutely, like, winning his 1v1 over there, so... He really lunch is, just needs holy to fuck shit. Off. Okay, Lunch is bursting, which I don't agree with, but if he gets the kill, I guess it's fine. Oh, oh, oh. I oh, oh. No! no. <laughs> That was unfortunate. I know why he did that, but I think what he really should have done is just fucked off and let um, let Dark Hound go in. Yeah, but, at um, that point, that I think he could have just held on the burst to use defensively to get out. Let's go do Shadow. Yeah, that, that team is doing mad good for the record. No, that so team was doing I'm, hella I'm good. Person. That team was doing hella good. But yeah, I think um that's in that situation is kind of like lunch bursted to finish the match, but. Has no neutral, has so much uh, HP left that you might as well, like, you know, like, let him do stuff first. Like, that's more available HP to use and more burst to use and stuff. Yeah, that, so was, definitely a it, but... that was definitely a mishap of uh, just bad HP management. And, like, I understand yeah, how that feels because that was one of my big things in G versus back when I played is that I would front as, like, Sananju. And then next thing I know, I would be on my second life. I'd have only 100 life left. And then I would look. My partner's GPO3 had like 400 life left and was still on their first life. And then that's when I realized, wait a minute. I I think I'm doing something wrong here. Yeah, uh, yeah. whoops. I think I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah that was, um, I eventually got out of that habit. Kind of, sort of. But Kind of, sort of, maybe. I mean, it depends. Mark. Depends on the day, the, the phases of the moon, et cetera, et cetera. But regardless... Good games to both of those teams. That is still a good yeah. match. Yeah, I, everyone played good. I, I def, but there are definitely things that like. There are definitely some adjustments that I think that can be made, and I hope that next time we do this, because I'm definitely wanting to do this again in the future, that people can come back and be all like, "Okay, I've learned from this. I've taken this shit to the lab. Let's go." No, no, fuck it. I want people to stay bad forever so I can keep winning. Ha 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 ha. No, fuck but, it, fuck it. Just, just, just do whatever, man. <laughs> but what's our next match now, Ozzy? Yeah. Uh, so next we have Deuce and Jen versus Blazer King and Evan. Oh. How many more matches are? How many matches are left, by the way? Uh, so it's this one, and then we have Zal versus. Bull okay, sec. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then. The final match, and then perhaps secret secret match, perhaps. And then uh, we yeah. have potential uh, SNK boss match. Potential. Uh, SNK can you open up the match. room? 
Uh, yes, one moment. I was uh, doing streamy things. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. Cool, cool. Okay, so that's Deuce and Jen yeah. and yeah, Blaziken. I think that match was very, uh, was very good, and we saw really... Let's see. Blaziking and... Who was teaming with Blazer King? My brain is wrong. Evan rotting. slash Wow Cool Robot. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna put Evan because that's shorter, but I really want to put Wow Cool Robot. <laughs> Wait, is it is it is it Dusikar? Yeah, it's, it's not. It's, it's not like Duskar. Okay. Oh, Wait, I don't know how see. it's pronounced, honestly. I have always been saying in... Deuce. Or Dusikar. Yes Deuce to which car. one. It's like Goose, so it is Deuce. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Goose. <laughs> wow, Thank cool you. robot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the explanation. Yeah, I see. It, it's, it's like, like every... Goose. So, I'll, I'll say this right now. Ever since I've met Deuce, all I can ever think of is that one Strong Bad email where Strong Bad's just like, Bah! The double Deuce. Like, every time. That's a pretty good strong guy impersonation. Why, why, thank you. I've been practicing typing with boxing gloves on for the past 10 years. Wow, incredible. <laughs> um, well, anyways, anyways, uh, you know, you know, Blaze King and I have, have a lot of history, but I'm, I'm, I think Deuce has like a fucking Simple Gear Twitter icon, so I like, you know, sorry, I got root for them. Oh my, started. so obviously you have to root for Blaze King. But well, well, no, I got room for Deuce of Car. But come on, uh, you know what? That's fair. Come on. That's well, fair. I want to note too that uh, Jen and Deuce Car's uh, <laughs> tournament name is Super Pilots. Super Pilots but is no, very strong. But there's no H two, man. <laughs> there's no H two, but oh man, that's Deuce plays like only age suits. So it yeah, it's out. really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Let me see. I need to look. Okay, I, we got this. So, uh. I know that Blaze King is probably the person in this lobby that I am the most familiar with. And like, can, can I just say how proud I am of this motherfucker with how far he has gone in like a short amount of time? Like, Blaze King is at a no, point you're not, now. You're not allowed to say it. No, fuck you. You're not allowed to say it. You're not allowed to say it. You, well, you said, well, you you know said, can I just say it? For, I was like, no. You know what? No, fuck it. I'm just going to say it. Blaze King has yeah, been putting right. in work. <laughs> And I'm so happy with the progress that he has made in this game so far. Yeah, but also, but also, I love fucking playing against Deuce, so I can't be biased here. But whoa, I'm watching whoa. Blaze King's perspective first, as both of them are immediately eating shit. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't vote for Deuce after all because Deuce playing H1. And I don't know that. But yeah, <laughs> there's there's a lot of H1 tonight. Actually, I'm realizing. <laughs> These yeah, are all yeah, my more than zero. Pictures. More than zero. So I love them equally. I have no bias. I I don't well, even know if well, Evan well, and well. I are actually okay. mutuals on Twitter. Yo, good quantize actually. Yeah, Blazer King's going going nuts. Holy shit. All right, super. The super quantizes him out of the cut. Oh my god. Oh Beautiful. my god. This is this is this is a wild wild boy match. I overhead view for this one. This is crazy. So okay, I will say so, right um, now that one thing that I know Blazer King has definitely gotten a hold of, he goes wild, he gets hit a lot. When he bursts, he knows how to do that really fucking well, though. He will burst okay. on you and you'll is, be sad. Because one it's a thing? 2K, because it's 2K, I think the situation is still okay, actually. And, oh, and the G-Cell CSB wants for life thing is out now. Oh, uh, quantum burst. Okay, Killed backpack's the, out uh, from build stuff. strike. And Blazer that backpack okay? kill? snipes the H2 or H1. <laughs> Blaziken's well, again... rainbow stepping is super impressive to me recently, honestly. I always am not expecting how well he rainbow step forwards against me. Is the Quanta is Quanta gonna get another burst? If Quanta gets another burst, then this is like a really, really good situation I, for them. I don't okay. know if he's going to get I don't think he's gonna get another burst here, but he he might. I, 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 I don't think so. I think it would have probably been okay. Um, Actually he's he, definitely gonna get one if he quantum bursts. He's gonna get if he blocks, he'll get another burst. Actually, no. What the hell, oh God? What the fuck is going on, uh, man? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, he's uh, about to get first, but he is, he is in no pants mode, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I just think I'm hitting him, man. Oh, wait, what the what fuck? What happened? What happened? What the fuck happened? What hit him? What happened? Oh, it's the what traffic the cones. Wait, wait, he hit him with the traffic cones. Oh, oh, I was like, what the fuck happened? Like, yeah, <laughs> the traffic cones make, like, no sound, and you can't fucking see them. Uh, fucking G-Cell CSA. G the, all the G-Cell shit is just like, like, haha, you can't see it, asshole. God damn it. 
Hey, that motherfucker. Hey, that motherfucker. I mean, even in the show, you can't see the beam sabers because they didn't animate them. Actually, they did no, animate them. Like, okay, so in the show, they animate beam sabers as like like streaks, and it looks really fucking cool. Like everything looks cool in G Self, especially yeah, yeah. when Bell is pooping in the robot. Did you know that uh, there are people at JPs are saying the Cavacali is the worst 3K who's ever been added to the game? That's depressing. Oh it really god. is, because he's awesome looking, so I'm like, oh my god. Why man. is every mask suit bad? Hey that man, isn't um, Hot Scramble. Hey man, Mac Knife, Mac Knife has the, uh, he's got, he's got that, let's lo lo uh, go one, right? He's got that. He's, he's got that. Alrighty, so, um... So Estrogen and Deuce, I, I was about to say, they were chilling back for a bit, but then Blaziking bulldogs his way in. This match, is, this, this match is really like splitting into 1v1s, like even position-wise, the, all the players are like really far, and now it's like kind of like a big, like, a shit show of people fighting each other, but that's just par for the course when it comes to the, the suits there being like Quanta H1. I want to say Build Strike and G-Self don't have to play that way, but with Quanta and H1, it's, it's bound to go into 2 1 Definitely, and, and Build Strike and, uh, Build Strike Build and Strike P-Pack both have the tools to where they can definitely handle 1v1s. That let me say that was an amazing um that was an amazing backpack. That was by, such uh, a good backpack. What the fuck is that person's actual name other than Wow Cool Robot? Evan. <laughs> Evan, thank you. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's uh that's uh Beaver Boy or whatever, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Before right, being a Wow Cool Robot, he was known as Beaver Boy. Insert oh. number. Blaze I, I, I like I like this new name a lot better. Let me say. It but, is much um, better. But okay, Blaze so, like, eats pressure during burst, so. There there's a path to victory. There's a path to victory right now where basically um, someone gets overcosted and then Bill Strike fires the backpack at whoever that is and they die. <laughs> like, that's actually what I think is like truly to the path to victory. Oh no, but again gets hit by the. Um, Alright, he's released backpack. That path to victory is gone now. Oh, okay, the path to victory is gone. Now now there's a only death. Um, I still think there's well, a chance, does, uh, but it's rough. Does, does, uh, does Bill Strike have burst? He does, yes. Okay, Bill Strike needs to burst. Or if Bill Strike burst, then, then it'll be okay. Okay. Or, or not, it'll be okay, but like that's that's a chance for shit to happen. Okay, but the, the age one also burst, so it's like oh, oh my god, god everyone's, everyone's burst. Shit is happening. Okay, quantize um or or whatever the mode is, quantum burst, quantum burst. Yeah. Okay, and yo, please give me burst, please give please burst. Okay, good burst. Thank you. What happened? I can't tell. What the fuck? Why is it not showing who's getting killed? Like, okay. There. Oh, Nelly. I switched perspectives for a second to show Blaziking because he bursted, and then immediately Build Strike just dies. Unfortunate. Feels bad. Yeah. Well, I think um I think in general it's like it was uphill battle because uh, early on uh, I saw that Age One was doing like so much damage with the sparrow the sparrow like BC and it's like that move does actually no damage but if you hit it like three times that's a lot of damage. <laughs> like, I mean know? yeah pretty it's it, that that character is the equivalent to Chip Zanuff in in Gundam like he doesn't do a lot of damage per hit but like he has the ability to hit you a lot. So. I'd say the difference though is that he has a shield of health just because he's a 2k, so he's more health than. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Alrighty. Back in there. I'm gonna look at uh, Jen's perspective. That's actually the perspective I'm looking at as well. So wow, incredible. Right. Okay, yeah. so, um. Although I'm using dual screen right perspective because it's just easier to follow, I feel. You know what? You're 100% uh, so right. I just want to make sure uh, Jen's pronouns are she, her. That's right. Yeah, she, her. Yeah. I apologize. No worries. Okay. I just wanted to. to uh, oh my god. Sure. Um, so, so, um, the Quanta melee just caught a uh, go goose, <laughs> goose, uh, that step from the age one. I'm not saying that name. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Hey, if age one burst right now. This is oh, supposed to be age spicy. one? Struggled oh, that out so well against Blaziking. Blaziking oh my god, nice. First Wait, and melee? Oh my god. Costed. Blaziking's team about to, is, is doing work in burst. I think these situations are crazy because I think over, like passively, um, uh, Jen's team is winning, but I think in burst, like, it gets so crazy. Like with Quanta and then, um, uh, Ghost Strike. Alright, Quanta saved by Shield Bits. Uh -oh. Okay, well, actually, it's still kind of okay because, um, Age 1 had to burst for that, right? Okay, yes. so so on a, in a resource level, it's doing, it's, it's doing not bad, and it got overcost. All right, um, P strike mines are gone. No more CSP on deck. Jen has burst, but because he's overcosted, she probably save it. Well, I guess it's two A overcost, so you can live without it. And oh, and she makes it happen, so it's okay. Yeah, she makes stuff happen, so it's fine. Okay. Um. All right, Quanta getting double locked for a little bit. Yeah, that's just reasonable, I think. Okay, Quanta and burst. Uh, so Bill strike should come in as well. 
Okay, um, is that backpack? Okay, and that's first from build strike. Oh, nice. Backpack hits uh, peace side, so now they're actually in a position where they yeah. can make comeback happen. Yeah, that's what I like to call big damage. Let's go. Yeah, because actually, Duskar is, uh, Duskar is actually quite low health. All things considered. Oh, baby. Oh, even lower baby now. bail combos. Oh my god, that is what it is, isn't it? No, yeah, um, build okay. strike is baby bail. Straight up. Okay, okay, Duskar has burst too, so it's still like. um... Oh, this is huge think, damage. Okay, never I mind. I think Jen is actually going to get another burst too, so so it's all up to burst at this point, I think. Well, that was Blaziken's team. Oh, I don't think Blaziken's team is going to get another perk, so actually they may they may be in a... All right, they have to kill Age 1 now, or it's yeah, basically Yeah, but Age 1 has, Age 1 has burst, and they have no resources, and... and so All right, so this is done. Be really up, so. I, think, I think it's... Uh, something has, crazy has to happen for them to win. Oh! Like something, that! Like, something crazy like that? Yeah, like... I, uh, uh, no, it's, okay, that hit. was almost a thing. That, that quantum was burst thing. was exactly what they needed to take that. Oh, man. That was almost the shit. That was almost the shit. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, that was that was very close though. Well played by everybody. I thought that um, I thought it was crazy because like uh, I I would say Jen's burst um the first burst in that match was pretty reckless, but then she killed everybody. So I was like, you know what? I can't even I can't even hate. And that was good. Oh, exactly. <laughs> you know? Can't even hate. That was good. All right. So I think Blaze King. And Evan, at this point, definitely need to chill a little bit. Because if there's one thing that I do know about Blaze the King, he will usually rush in headfirst in a lot of situations. Which Quanta definitely does enable that. But yeah, but he's got no health, man. That's who is like really well. Yeah, the, so the, the, the man has, has no health. So I feel like Blaze the King may be better off trying to pick some of his shots just a little better. But I it's also it's hard. The, G self also has no health, so I think it's kind of a thing where. The way to play is like, um, it, it's kind of hard. Their team doesn't have great synergy, in my opinion, because I think, like, um, well, I, I guess they kind of do. I think Peace Strike, I mean, Bill Strike is ever, so it's like. Bill know, Strike can work in almost any team, I feel. Yeah. Well, I think a thing, too, is they might actually have better, um, I, I don't know if they have better, like, shooting than, than that, than, uh, P Pack and stuff, but they have, like, it's not like. That BC um, was so mm -hmm. good for P Self! Holy shit! Uh, well, BC is a, what, the armor move? The armor or, move, yeah. The armor move, yeah. Yeah, he just armored directly through Quanta's um, melee, and it did a million damage. Oh, hey, hey, this this might be a thing, though. Juice is getting kind of messed up. Oh, no, but, um, And Blaze King dies at first. Oh, hey! But we got the overcost, and then the CSB is out and doesn't hit anybody from himself. So, actually, once again, this is actually a close match. Um, now Blaze King kind of has to burst. Beaver could burst, actually. Okay. Oh, no, I, I, uh... Look, it kind of works out. Okay. Things are actually looking pretty good for um, Blazing King's team right now, so that's a good This is my opinion. I think Blazing King does need to back off at this point, though. Yeah, Blazing King definitely needs to back off. No, it looks like they're, um... Yeah, okay. So now, the situation is kind of spicy. Yeah, so Blazing, Blazing King, King very low health. needs to Blazing get away. Another... Okay, no! Right uh... No time to burst. What hit him? Is it the shovel guy hit him? <laughs> I think it was actually Age 1 Dagger? Yes. Oh. That was age okay. one dagger throw. Okay, I thought it was shovel guy. I'm like, oh, I love shovel guy. They just added him to MS Go for some reason. All right, so I definitely want to say from that match. Uh, Aka Genesis is asking if people can change suits. Losers can change. I Losers believe. can change suits. Winners are suit locked. We're going by tournament rules for these exhibitions, essentially. Yeah, yeah, which is why you need to change the maps at random and not um. Uh, when I say tournament rules, I mean, uh, SVO <laughs> rules, uh, sir, sir. SVO is now sponsored by Bandai. SV SVO is sponsored by Bandai. It's the standard <laughs> now. Side 7 is official. Lost side 7? More like side heaven. Can I get, can I get a yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that broke my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Gundam is esports now. They've been running maxi boost on ads at Tekken <laughs> events, man. All right, but real talk though, I think at this point. Wait, have they actually? We, uh, yes, actually, they have. Oh shit! What? That's sick. Yeah, exactly. It's super sick. <laughs> I didn't know about that. What the fuck? I'm learning stuff today. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, but Blaze King is eating some shit. has the fucking age one combo. This shit's wild, actually. Um. Yeah, Blaze King and Evan ate a ton of damage early on here. Yeah, one well, then they continue to actually. Oh my god. Oh, they, they okay. Actually, yeah, they just have not stopped eating damage. Yeah, this is bad. This is this is like Taiman team. Taiman team is like 
Oh, oh shovel guy, there it goes. Look him run to the sunset. <laughs> uh, All right, Blaze King's doing a big damage swing here. Yeah, that's a thing. But I think it's um, it's pretty rough. Oh, hey, nice, nice. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. We're making stuff happen right now. That's not bad. Okay, I'm just looking. Wait for Okigaro okay, so. get sniped by. Mm. I, looks like a random age one shot or a G self CSA. I'm not quite sure. You know what? It's a mystery sometimes. Dude, it's okay. so hard. I think this is kind of like um. Two B's in pressure. I think this is kind of spicy. I think it can still go either way, actually, depending on the situation. It, it depends on if they can hold HP. I think if they can oh. hold HP, they're good. But if Blaziking takes any more damage, it's going to be very rough. Okay. One ties. All right. Get All the right. overcost, but that's it's just 2k overcost. Still, still live. Um, Jen is holding burst, which is um, a thing to do. All right. Uh, Got the knockdown. Quant is kind of going crazy right now, though. He, I, at this point, with build strike okay. almost dead, I feel he kind of has to. Yeah, as as burst happening right now. Okay, gem burst. All right, build strike has burst on deck. He needs to spend it now if they want to have any. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He needs to spend it now if if only just to get out of that situation. Unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, that was rough. That was unlucky. It's very sad whenever someone has burst and just dies before they can use it, because that is the number one yeah. like comeback factor, match change, the match changing like X factor thing in this game. Oof. So is that? I, that uh, was a five zero. Five zero. That is the first five zero of the night. Ah. Uh, is it really? Yes, actually. It is. Wow. Everything so far, I'm pretty sure, has been either five one or five two. Well, I think the match is all pretty close, honestly. No, so they've been thing. close matches. It's definitely not been for. I, I'm doing the meme, the smash meme, the meme of a 3 0. It was close, though. 3 0. It was close, though. <laughs> that does exist. I honestly don't think that's a meme. I legitimately think there is such thing as 3 0. It was close, though. Yeah, but Smash players will say it even when it wasn't, man. Oh, no, I mean, you're right, though. You're right, though. Yeah, I'm right, though. I'm right, though. They, get, but they, they deserve nothing. I, can, I play I, a real game, man. I can't bully Smash players right now, though, man. Fucking. What? Because Nintendo's been nar been a huge narc. Yeah, but Nintendo made great stuff like the Wii U. So I don't I'm like listen. Like I think the Wii U oh, is excellent. Oh, that is that is tragic. <laughs> I, I think the Wii U is excellent. Uh, okay, I mean, okay, hear me out. 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 Yeah. Hear me out. Okay. Wii U, Dungeons and Dragons game, and the game master has the DM, the the dungeon master has the has the gamepad. Did that actually happen? No, but it's a genius idea and they should have done it. <laughs> and they I... didn't do it, so so fuck the Wii U. All right, room's open, by the way, now. All right. So now I believe we are getting uh, Zalzite, Team Zalzite versus Team uh, Bullet. Indeed. Yeah, so this is Zalzite and I all got her. Got Gotter? Gotron. Gotron. You can also okay. call him by his PSN, which is Haman Foot Sweat Ah. Uh, I will be uh not doing that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Zalzai Gotron. And Bullet Slash Rattle. How do I spell that name again? Help, Ozzy. I'm scared. Uh, yeah, Rattleboro. R A U D. Oh my God! Is this the tournament Yo, debut of Zalzit's hot scramble? Oh, oh is Zal? Oh. Oh, oh God! I I don't think I've ever seen this before. Nobody has. It only only I've seen this. Oh. The darkness. No. <laughs> so what you're telling I me? I have seen this darkness. Zolzite is sharing something very special to to. Uh, it's very special tonight. No, I think they just want. I think he just wants to do it just because uh, you know. He, oh no! He he just woke up one day and he was like, I I'm tired of living. No no, FBI dude. Uh, you know you know I I have some sources that um say that this is the best Epion in North America. The source is being Zal telling me that, like, well, oh, Zal's <laughs> playing Epion. Uh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, get live Epion, please, no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey man, hey man, he has Epion, kinda. He has Epion. He, he played it. He played yeah, it once. Uh, Gatron is, uh, from what I've been told, Gatron is Haman Foot Sweat. Ah, uh, 
Yes. Yeah, that is Gotron. Um, that is I, that is the Clark Kent to his Superman. He's Gotron and Hamon Futsuena. Which one's Superman? <laughs> 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 Which one's the secret identity? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but then there's the secret third identity of Thug. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's Thug. Rottlebur. All right, and then there's Rottle, and then there's Bullet. So Zal and uh, Thug for everyone. Everyone should, I, if you've seen any SVO or Danger Time, you've definitely seen them pop up. They have been getting like first second third they've basically been getting constant like top four almost every single tournament and it is pretty insane meanwhile yeah but, yeah, but his epion's free his epion's free just saying. <laughs> have you 1v1 the epion uh you know what <laughs> I, I have but i'm, I'm kidding no, oh my God. and then we have we bullet and rottle rottle i know i've played in lobbies previously and there were really solid reborns and bullet probably the cornerstone of the maxi boost community i'm pretty sure tournaments would not run without him yeah he's cool i think uh Rottle is new with mbon right i'm pretty sure i like, i'm pretty sure Rottle is a new player i am not someone else. i i do not know that for sure because i thought uh, it was also, awesome. i don't know that for sure either but let me say if Rottle is new for and beyond i think Rottle's fucking that good like actually oh yeah like, yeah yeah I, think, uh, I, Rod I, I just th said yes he is new in the chat okay yes 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 he's new and he's mad good like actually like i think for for how new he's like straight up all right so in other words there were two new players that both immediately were like i want to play ribbons allmark ribbons Allmark. i mean dude his voice is great like uh, i you go in arcade you just hear like the the reborn's gundam it's pretty good all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna peep this hot scramble first i think I'm really curious about this. Immediately, Duff's Reborns with the two sub. Incredible. But good cut from Raphael. I think that, um, uh, the thing the thing is, uh, it's all stressed to me, and I believe it. Hot Scramble is so fucking cheap, man. Like, he's oh, yeah. so cheap. He's so cheap. And, 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 and I, I, I was telling Zal, I was encouraging him as a good friend, you should just play this shit so the world can experience it in all its depravity you know like all the disgusting things would you say I it's more this. cheap than double x though yeah i think it's way more cheap than double x like actually Damn. i think double i think double x is only cheap in burst and i don't give a shit about him guys like actually ah, okay. well don't give a shit about him is a strong strong word but i think the thing with double x is that i truly truly think double x like has this kind of like awkward problem where it's like he's not very good at hitting stuff unless he um Unless he does, uh, like, he has to, like, 6B oh. or burst to hit stuff. Oh my god, what is going on? Alright, Rattle's, bur Rattle's bursting. So far, this is... Pretty even right now. Surprisingly yeah. even. Surprisingly uh, even, Hubley right Hubley hasn't now. taken a lot of damage yet. But yeah. Zal is already down. One life, but he's in burst right now. Bullet with his... Bullet I believe down. that's his signature F-burst Raphael. No, yes, that's his signature that F-burst F Raphael. Raphael. I think uh, I think uh, Gotron is setting up a pressure on him. I doesn't do it though. This All is right. a very very wild match. Okay, and so now uh, I think Rod will probably get another burst, and then Bullet may not get another burst on on before he dies. Like, so it's basically up to Rod to kill everybody during his burst. All right, it's reborn, so it can happen. Uh, it can happen. Never mind. Oh man, but the, no, never mind. It won't. That so that that move is the legendary Cubile MA mode melee, which is the thing that Cubile has. In Cubile can do two things in MA mode. Cubile can melee out of it, and Cubile can also step for some reason. Cubile has a step in MA mode. Why can and Cubile fuck step? the MA mode melee? By the way, that beats like everything that Gaia can do. Uh, well, well, that beats everything most characters can do because it is a incredibly high priority melee that actually um chases with the same speed as um. Uh, X X one Kai CCAB. It's Jesus fucking fast. Christ. The hitbox on it is so big too. It's very yeah yeah. It's, it's very, it's very disjointed. Four swords, like it's just all over the place. Like straight yeah, up, I think Cubile has easily above average melee, and that MA yes, mode definitely. melee is just it's like well, it already it's has good melee, and then the MA mode melee is just like oh hey, no you're well, just Well, it's an incredibly dying. good. It's an incredibly good melee, but also like on top of that, like. Uh, like that. Well, it's just like it's 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 held back by the fact that you have to enter fucking MA and put do it. Exactly. All right. Zal's playing a little bit. Uh, let's see what Zal's playing. I see Zal just like running. Uh, he's running in. Um, 
I know that uh, he really believes that the uh, the hot scramble melee is uh, incredibly overpowered, so he just like likes um, he just uses it. I mean, I would agree with that because hot scramble melee is just it's fucking good. It's really yeah. fucking good. Well, his words to me about it, and I believe it, is like, you know, people say DX Melee is good, and it is, but Hot Scramble CC at B is like he's literally teleporting onto you. <laughs> he's teleporting onto you and, and hitting you, so that's the thing. It is but, definitely um, a good ass button. But Not to mention, also, his HP is like the highest priority shit ever, but I, that's enough about that, priority, I guess. Yeah. Well, well, actually, I know you're not. You're, I know you're not right about that though, because DX 6 P exists, and that is the highest priority shit. Ever. <laughs> like, <clears throat> Meanwhile, I have to burst. Reborns and burst. Also, you know, let me say, you know, who's better than uh, Hot Scramble? It's fucking Reborns. So, so he's right. gets away from the burst still, no damage taken. So, all right, um, bullets just chilling back. I like this. They. They've already yeah, taken a lot of the, damage, so... That's definitely the play at this point. Also, Bullet definitely needs to hold their burst for, um, their second life so they can eat. Oh, but this is now very spicy. So, I don't really know what to make of this situation, because... Oh! Burst, and that burst? Okay. Oh, All wow, right. you know, I really do be like that. Hot Scramble melee beats the F burst. Um, Hot Scramble 6B, you don't fuck with it. That button is incredible. I fuck with it, I have no fear. Uh, <laughs> you also play Sazabi, though. Well, well, no, well, I fuck with it on. I don't fuck with anybody on my Sazabi game. My Sazabi sucks ass. <laughs> my Sazabi. Oh my god. When I, when I play Zal on my Sazabi, he literally just like six speed because he doesn't care anymore. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, GVS right. Hot Scramble was definitely some shit. But also, this hot, this version of Hot Scramble has a lot of the shit before they nerfed him in GVS. Yeah, yeah, also, like, come on, like, this hot scramble, like, fucking, like, no step time, like, fuck that, like, no step time, like, I hate those fucking surround funnels. Oh, god. I, I hate them, like, like, ugh, I think I'm uniquely free to them, but I hate them. I mean, I, I don't think they're, like, like, super hard to dodge, I still get tagged by them sometimes, but, like, it's I not it's too bad. I think it's interesting, because, like, oh my god, like, like, I think there's time, like, it's so... I constantly have a situation, this might be uniquely me, I constantly have a situation when I'm going Zal where I like, like I, I step one of them and then the other one is still tracking me. So I move to dodge that one and then the one that's tracking me, uh, fucking, the one that I stepped the first time hits me. Okay, oh so I'm looking at Q-Boy so... this match. So q -Boy is a pretty interesting character because I like to describe him as a sniper, like more uh -huh. than anything else I think. Because um actually uh the way Cubelay works is they have unique funnels where they don't actually um their funnels uh don't uh, automatically fire like the other funnels in the cast. The way Cubelay's funnels works is you set them, they go to the direction where they go exactly to where the opponent is at the time that you press up, and then when you AC you burn here and you fire them later. So like uh when the Cubelay does like a pose where she spreads her arms and shit, she's uh, firing her funnels. It's kind of this weird weird character. I think, like, she's really powerful with a front that can hold double lock and, like, can just fight both people on their own because having Hubley in the match basically guarantees that certain landings that are unpunishable become punishable. Gotcha, That's gotcha. Amazing. So it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting character, really powerful in a defensive meta. And also, um, this character can defend himself pretty well and uh, has good melee, so it's like, and has pressure. Unlike the O, Hubley's pressure, um, not only is reloaded by burst, which oh, is insane. Good Lord. Speaking of those funnels, Speaking of those funnels, they make Speaking very, they make very funnels. safe. Basically, the thing is that is that Cubeloy, I think, has very a lot of difficulty forcing someone to move on the, on her own. Like she can't force someone to take a landing and then get punished on her own. But if like the front full forces someone to move and Cubeloy has funnels on them and she fires, then that person's about to eat shit. Like basically. Yeah. But it's interesting because um Cubeloy's pressure not only does she spawn in with it, which is crazy. When she bursts, it reloads. So is that insane. is like... That, yeah, when I learned that uh, Cubelay gets pressure back when she bursts, I lost my mind, dude. Well, that's so crazy at the end of at end of round situations because then she, she spawns in with pressure, so if you run her, she's pressure, and then you can burst. It's all going for the MA mode Garo into melee, the evolution of Wing Zero TV. MMO. I was about to say, Wing yeah. Zero TV 2. I mean, zero, zero TV. I, mean, I, zero I was TV about to say, so Reborns great. was in a pretty good position until Cubelay just managed to get behind. And then at that point, when he was caught in that L formation, he was just in a really bad spot. Well, can someone explain to me what Zal's doing right now? Uh, <laughs> Zal's chilling. Zal's vibing, I think. All right. Oh, so let's see what's going we're on. changing okay. perspectives. What is Zal doing? Well, he was doing stuff, but now he's doing it no longer. He was literally like turning the MA and flying up. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure that that uh, fly up move in MA mode actually does cut tracking. Does <laughs> it really? Yes. Oh my god. If, if it, and I'm pretty sure that it does indeed cut tracking. Oh, it tries to use Oki Whip. I like it. Going for Oki Whip. Well, again. well, Oki Whip is fake, actually. Oki, Oki Whip's fake if you boost dash left to right because yeah. um, then you're involved with like completely. Like, the same with the Kachow Tree funnels. In general, a lot of Oki that's fence based on Wake Up is fake. Just because um, um, Wake Up involves you. So it's so long. It's so long. Oh, wow. man. And they died roughly at around the same time. Or, at the same I, think, time as I think Bullet will not. He will not get another burst, which is unfortunate for him. Like, uh, because, you know, he gets it. he's, like, overcosted, so he needs another burst to get away from, like, someone running at him. And then Reborns will get another burst, but it's going to be really late. Unless hey, Bullet. He, he, he kills all of it, which is nice. Actually, this is a little closer than. Um, uh, well, you could kill Cubeblade, but the problem is Cubeblade does actually have very good <laughs> And it looks like they're both it. trying to dive. That's, yeah, yeah they're... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a... Wait a minute. Was that... Wait a minute. Friendly fire? Was that... No, no, no. Actually. Oh, wait, no. It wasn't friendly fire. Okay. For some reason, I thought that that... I got really brain fucked there for a second. I got yeah, really I was a little confused about what there happened there, too, second. for the record. Okay, I will. I'm not the only one, at least. Also, Sol Kuro, thank you for the raid. What is up, my dude? All right, so that is 4-0 so far. Roddle and Bullet, got to pick up that Genkai power. Genkai they got to make some plays. Yeah, <laughs> my brain shut off. I'm sorry. I We've see been commentating a lot. We've been commenting a lot longer than I think both of us expected to be. So it's I mean, this is actually kind of normal because I know that when I did SBO, I think that that was like two and a half or three hours. <laughs> I, actually, uh, I think that was like four, actually. Okay, that happens. All right, um, so we're starting out. I'm going to watch a Rod's perspective because I haven't talked a lot about Rod's reborn, so I think it's worthy of praise. Um, nice, nice Gagas to check the hot scramble disrespect. Yeah, really good crossfire setup there from the two. All right, and now they're just chilling, and I feel yeah. like if they can keep this up, step, they're to going them. to be in a pretty good shape. It's pretty. I don't really know what Raphael does to be honest. So I think it's like I wish I could say more, but like I'm like yeah, Raphael as the puppet and then you know this stuff. The Raphael can throw the puppet out and control a lot of like it can control a lot of vectors with things like Rolling Buster and stuff. Yeah. Like it definitely has some sauce. Well, I'm not good. super familiar with the No, no, no. It's actually like good character. I just like don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Rod's about to get first. If Rod blocks something, they'll, uh, they'll get burst. Rod didn't get hit once, and they'll get burst. So, so Rod has yeah. burst. Bullet has been doing really well this game so far on his HP management. Staying at safe Ball distances. Burst. Oh, snap! Oh, that's shit! Dying oh, burst! Shit. Super good, worth it! Yeah, that's Let's a good, go. That's a good situation. Okay. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. But I think um, Rod, if Rod doesn't burst right now, I don't know. Okay, Rod didn't get the burst and died. So now it's, we're kind of even again. Um... All right, he's going I, in. Okay. Rod is still focusing. He's trying to kill Zal twice, which I think is the play, actually. So I would agree with that. That's a good idea. Situation. That's a good idea. Because they've not even damaged Cubelay, so why even bother? Because if you well, damage Cubelay, she's Cubelay gonna get burst. Away too. Well, she can run away too. I think Cubelay's burst is like nothing. Is actually nothing, but like it's just like at this point, you know. Okay. Um. So I'm, I'm, right now, their team is going for uh, Zal's team is going for a time on setup because they're like very confident in their dueling abilities. So like it's just kind of a this kind of situation is just oh good like, fast fall and good Gaga. That was good. Oh my god, this is oh and I was gonna say it was pretty good defensive. Um, All like, right, and uh, now super. after this burst, he's got to be super careful. Okay, Actually, bullet, he doesn't even um, have burst just I think yet. Bullet, yeah, I think Bullet needs to burst or something like that. Like um because uh, if Bullet doesn't burst soon, okay, there we go. I think. Okay. Oh, hey. oh right, good call out. Okay. And Reborns has got burst. Let's go. This is the play. This is the situation. This is the thing right now. All right, good evasion from uh, Zol. But um, yeah, Zol yeah, is yeah, just Zol, fucked Zol, up. Zol, well, Zol, Zol, Zol just did an air stall because um, but uh, at that point I think uh, Rod should have just been like, okay, I'm not fucking with this person anymore. Oh, like, you know. And but now and things, things are, Rod's in now a bad things are bad. Yeah, that's and the Garrow. That. See, see that situation? That was normally a safe landing, but because Cubeblade had funnels set up, when, as soon as you landed, you got hit, basically. No, d did you not see Zal's sweeping Garrow there just now? Well, I saw that too, but yeah. Yeah, like, that, I think that it, hit before the funnels did. Well, I think if that's the case, then it's like totally, totally like... um. Zal just had uh, the call out there. 
Okay, let me send uh let me send the uh the invite to Alright, so I guess now so we have one more match. Do we know who that match is going to be with Andrew? It, I do know it's gonna be uh Panzai and Rosen. So let me just uh send them. I think so it's Panzai who's my good friend and also Rosen who I don't know but he is the Beijing champion. Okay. Whatever that means. So he's a Beijing <laughs> champion of something. Like I, I know he's a, a Beijing champion of something. So All we'll right. see. So is that Ponsai or Bonsai? It's it's Pon. It's P. I, well, I'm sending. I'm, I just sent them the code, so they'll be in. I oh, know. I'm trying to spell for the stream set. Oh, P A N J A I I. P A N J A I I. And also, I have the room open now. So, it's like it's his name and it means boy. And then uh No 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 J J A I I. I put J A I I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh and okay. Then, uh, the stream's delayed or something. Yeah, stream's right? delayed, so you're good. And then uh, it's Ponsai and uh Rosa, R O S A? R Rosen. Rosen. R O S E. -S That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so th they're currently doing something, but there's uh he said uh at like ten twenty nine said give me like three minutes, so Alright, All so right. we're Gucci. So uh I definitely know I've seen Rosen play. I can't remember if it was during SVO or during Danger Time. Yes. Uh, tournament. Uh Rosen generally teams with the Yo Yo Lan for uh SVO with the team name Beijing Champ Carries Me. Okay, yes, yes. I definitely commentated <laughs> that at uh SVO. I definitely commentated that at SVO. Beijing Champ. I believe they won me. the last SVO. Yeah. That they is did. correct. That is correct. That is correct. They got the M Bond sticks officially supported by Bandai Namco. So now oh, Zal Zal and Thug are going to attempt to be able to get revenge. Well, for... they gotta get the sticks back. They're going to get the sticks back for the kids. <laughs> for the kids. Fuck the kids, dude. <laughs> Fuck the kids, man. Man, well, we, I mean, you know. man, we can't say that. I have a charity link down in the description. Well, well not those kids. Those kids, like, those what kids, kids deserve are the, the best. world. What kids are we talking world, about but... here, then? <laughs> But like other kids, just kids in general, but who are not those kids, like I don't fuck with them. Like, you know, like honestly. Like if I I I have a very, very sad look on my face right now because I don't know how to take <laughs> I don't know how to handle this. This is a revelation. I can't believe Andrew is a narc. I'm a narc! What are you doing, narc? I play the O man. I play the O. You can't spell right. Shiroko without narc. <laughs> I, I I took me a second to be like, is that is that true? And then I'm like, no, there's no end. <laughs> no. Okay, here we go. Rosen Cavalier. So here they are, the guests of honor. Rosen show. Oh, is it R O Z E N? No, it's R O S. -E -N. No, it's R O S. -E -N. Okay, I saw Holly put R O S uh, R Z E N. Rosen, like, oh, Rosen is uh Rosen with a Z is the purple robot with high heels in space. <laughs> He is the purple robots with high heels in space that doesn't know what Vernier is. Dude, that robot like has high heels but never has a reason to use them. It's like the opposite of Jiang. Oh, that's Before right. Holly can't see heels. stream. My bad. My bad. Man. All right. Oh. Uh, okay, so there's Panzai. Panzai. Oh, I gotta rejoin again. Panzai. Huh. <laughs> it's like um, it's just uh, it, it, Zai means like. Like boy, you know, like oh, like like. Oh, all man. right, Hi so new. Okay, are we going to see High New? Oh, man. Uh, if he if he gets fucked up, he's gonna swap. But Rosen likes to likes to mess around a little bit. So I mean, this goes. would make my friend Silver Hydra very happy to see this High. Ah, so oh, yeah, Silver Hydra. Yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah. He doesn't play that much anymore, right? He's just been really busy with stuff lately. Is all. He tries to play when he can, but just. Yeah, I played with him a little bit ago, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember this name. Man, so. Silver so Hydra is also another uni player. He's like one of the top uh, Eltnums. Oh, seriously? Yeah. That's cool. Then why the fuck do you play Hainu? Like, what the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck is that? He just likes Hainu, man. Well, Ricocheting bullets and Hainu funnels are kind of similar. Kind of. about it. Is. Well, no, because, because the ricocheting bullets are good. <laughs> not right. anymore. Now they're actual projectiles. They're not cheater buttons. Ah, yeah, really? That's not yes. good. Yes, yes, yes. 
All right. Now Chaos can actually just destroy Elton. No hope. No future matchup. So we're not talking about this anymore because I'm an Elton player and I don't want to deal with that. So let's get this match started, everyone. <laughs> let's get the match started. Let's let's get the final match of the night started. This this is the headliner, except we didn't actually put it in the flyer because we didn't know if it was going to happen or not. <laughs> and now it's Top happening. Secret. All right, let's see it. Top secret Illuminati matchup. I'm going to watch Zal's perspective because I want to see what he does. Well, oh, I almost dropped my pad on the floor. Well, it's a good thing that didn't happen. Huh? <laughs> All right, so okay. I have the East music going for the start of this first to five. Zal at the start, the flying Mogero. around with cool. the MA Mogero. Okay, they both take one, one hit and both take 75 damage. Really good space control with the fences. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, nice, nice, pretty cool. I think Ponzai and um, Ponzai and uh, and Rosa are gonna be trying for a time on team, which is why uh, uh, Ponzai is playing X1. Okay. Makes sense. So, um, yeah, because he's just going crazy on, on Kubelay, which is, you know, that's good. Yeah, Kubelay and Zal are actually bleeding a lot already, and X1 it's hasn't pretty... taken all that much damage. This is, uh, I think both um, both, both these players, Rosen and Panda, are very strong talent players, so that's part of it as well. Like, yeah. they're very good at, like, if there's an opening because one partner is trying to protect the other guy, they're able to take it. Oh, nice! But, uh, but um, uh, Rosen uh, pushed it on Zal with uh, his, his buff mode, but uh, actually, uh, Gotron had funnels on him, was able to punish it. All right, here comes Zal's burst. Zal's burst? Interesting, okay. It's but knocked down, so he's he going to waste some of that time. They're both knocked oh, down! They're both knocked down, no burst. No, uh, that's so tragic! Oh, never mind. He got a hit on Ponzai and wasted his E-Burst, so it's looking pretty good right All now. Alright, so that burst, that burst missed right, something. E-Burst down from Cubelay as well. Cubelay actually couldn't pressure there because Zal was right there. Oh my God. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so... Uh, um, Rosen, I knew burst. Rosen came back and bursted. Zal's dead. Cubelay's dead. Okay. But uh, Cubelay is coming in with E, so they won't be able to finish the match right away, even if Rosen goes right to Cubelay. Alright, they're double locking cube. Oh, oh, good, good E. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. E-Burst saved, saved her him. life, though. Alright. Oh! Come on. Oh, oh no, what happened? Yeah. Oh. CSA? No, CSA from High New in the back. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 okay. That's pretty rough. See, this is... Oh, like, never mind, actually. That was actually just a main. Just the, just it, the X1 main. It was just like, X1 main. Tough. It looked like uh, it had been tapped by uh, High New CSA, but I was super wrong. Yeah, yeah, okay. I could have so sworn I, think, I saw CSA. So interestingly, I think, um, uh, actually, I think Zal has a very strong team into this team because I think Hubley has the power to defend herself in a Thailand situation. Uh -huh. I just think that, uh, well, I think if there's anything that I noticed in that match, I think that um, Gatron is trying a little bit too hard to contribute when he should be just trying to protect himself from X1. Because X1 is not interested in, in, in whatever Zal's doing, like, actually. So I think it's a big thing that... In this situation, if there's a two, if there's two strong duelist players rushing you down, they're basically just checking to see if you are able to like pull your own in one v one. Because if you can't, then they're just gonna rush, like rush, keep rushing you down. You know? Yeah. A big thing in this game at the like, higher level of play is that if somebody in, in a four player match, if so, if one person can't protect themselves, that team, that person can't be carried basically. Pretty because, much. Because um, because if they're unable to protect themselves, like from someone just running in and breaking formation to kill them. Uh, your partner will be trapped like trying to save you and then we'll get picked off by the other guy who's just reacting to what you're doing desperately oh man i was about to say punch punzai took some actual really aggressive landings there for a second he was just dancing right around Zol. oh yeah man he's just gonna go he's just gonna go in i know it's funny they are taking some <laughs> super aggressive landings that look like for sure they're going to get hit so it's showing some really yeah. intimate knowledge between like these players i also think that this is kind of a, this is kind of a thing of cube light too is that because cube light has to set up her funnels ahead of time she's actually a she actually in my opinion struggles a lot in getting certain certain landings that are kind of straightforward like you're getting Oh, is, cut from the partner, and then oh, oh no! This is very wild. The situation is very wild. Um, I think in this, it looks like um, what they've decided on is Pondai is just gonna front, and Rosen is actually gonna want to take the first life, and it's um, it's gonna be three K back, which I knew was very good at doing. So it actually yeah, exactly. Really so this super works out. Oh, Zalt burst! Can he make something happen in burst? Oh, Trying to set up an unblockable. Oh, unfortunate! It's the priority burst. of the high new CCAB. You can only step that one way. I couldn't tell you which way it is. I'll <laughs> uh, video games, man. You can always step that one way. Tech, we tech it now, man. Like, oh my god. Uh, yeah, the Cubeway the cube melee priority already quite good, but the high new bottle self cuts. Oh my god. Rosen has a half, but might be saving him for a full burst unless he wants to finish this off right now. Oh, he's Thank going. He's going in right now. Cubeway is, is full burst, so I don't really recommend. Oh, 
Well, you know, sometimes stuff happens. <laughs> you know, sometimes mistakes are made. Sometimes, sometimes mistakes are made. Sometimes you go to hit the burst button, and if your name's Nick, you tend to flub it a lot. Okay, here's the strat, man. B bind burst to one button. Like, don't hit all three oh, buttons. Oh, no, this bind is... Burst when I say button. flub, is in, this isn't missing the buttons. This is literally just, like, uh, being like, I need to burst. I am now going to burst, and then see the loose screen, and then I'm just like, wait, what? But, yeah, are we going to yeah. see a suit change at all? I, I wonder, actually, yeah. I wonder. Because, um... Cause, um uh, there's three more matches. Like, if, if uh, Panzai and Rosen win the next three, it's over, right? Exactly, yes. Okay, so uh, I think there's... Some... are incorrect right now, by the way. It says three for Panzai and Rosen. Oh, is it's it just two? two? Okay, yeah. never mind. I uh, Zal, Zal and Zal and Gotron can suit change at this point. I don't think Gotron will. I think Zal might. We'll see. There we go. Sorry about that. I got really confused. Zal's, Zal's not memeing about playing Hot Scramble either, so I actually don't think it's necessarily, like, I don't think necessarily he'll change. All right. Well, we shall see what, yes, but uh, Zal, Zal and Thug would be allowed to swap if they wanted to. But, yeah, but they don't want, apparently they don't want to. They don't seem to want to, so we're just going to get this going. I really like um, Zal's titles. Just his sensibility in titles, I always think is very funny. Like, I understand brother. I don't know, it's just like not that great. I think it's good. <laughs> All, right, All right, so I'm gonna so go from Zal and Cube Light perspective here. Yeah, because I was watching, I was watching Rosen last night. Um, All right, good space control defenses. Yeah, it looks it looks like um it looks like Panzai is just gonna be fronting actually just based on his positioning close to, relative to Zal, or he's just like wants to go in and fight basically. Yeah, he just picked I'll go ahead, so I think he's just going. You know, oh, is he is he three player or is it um uh I don't know, I can't tell who pinged that, but someone on Panzai's team just pinged I'll go ahead, so I'm going to assume it was X1. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna assume that as well. I will Honestly, assume I he's backing off a lot. He's backing off a lot right now, so I think Rosen X just wants to play. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. This is uh this is the incredible oh. QQ QQ player synergy. And Thug, <laughs> Thug has taken a lot of damage from X1. Yeah, I think it, it's a thing. Because cause you have to remember the thing with Q-Blade too, is that um, Q-Blade's main thing, like the funnel firing action, is actually a burn your action. So it's actually a little bit dangerous to do when people are chasing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's a burn your, you can cancel with a boost dash, but that's actually a pretty, like, you know, like, um, committal, committal option is what I would say. I mean, a, a burn that you can cancel with a boost dash, isn't that every burn your move? Uh, you know, you know what, you're right. No, 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 but <laughs> the thing is that, the thing with Q-Blade that's different is that uh, even if you cancel it, like, before it even starts up, like, you get the full thing. Like, okay, fine, that's so. what you mean. That's what you that's mean. the unique thing. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you literally won't see the animation because it'll be, like, boost dash, animation, boost dash, like, before the animation even, like, starts to play. And it still it still comes out, basically. Oh, Zal's going. Zal's going. Can Zal's he get going. away Everyone's with his going. landing? He cannot. Oh, no. Zal is not quite dead, but he's bleeding in the water. Cube like going in and trying to make something happen. Uh, oh no. Damn. It do be like that sometimes. Oh shit, thank you, Case, for the rate of three. As I think in that Zal's situation, dies. the reason things got so out of control is because um Zal was already kind of low health. So Rosen and Penzai just bursted so that they could beat him up, basically. Because that at that point, if they're both bursting and Zal has only has 100 health left, mm -hmm. like they don't care about not looking at Cube Light because like Cubelay at most can peel one of them off, like you know what I'm saying. And if yeah. and if either of them hits Zal, then it's like he they lose. So it's kind of that situation okay. of like. Uh, so on Q here, Zal wants to change suits and he can't. Uh, huh? Well, it's queued like this. There you go. We're good. Okay. Did Zal, did Zal want to change suits last game or he couldn't? Uh, he said last game that he couldn't, but I just told him to at me if he wanted to change suits, and he just said he did. So okay, now we're good to okay, go. Okay. Wow, I feel terrible now. I'm so sorry. Well, well, he didn't say um he didn't say he wanted to suit change in Solon, so I think he I think if he wanted he would said it. Like um when it happened or something. Well, oh, I will. But, you know what? We're going in. I'm not gonna have any guilt for anything. Yeah. We, we play guiltless gun in here. We're we play playing gun. we're playing guilty gear. Guilty gear. No, guiltless gear, man. That's how it is. Guiltless That's gear. Gun guiltless gear. All right, so Zal, right back, back on his real shit now. Back on the power. The, the hot scramble is the real shit. Like, he's serious about that suit. That isn't a meme pick. Well, no, like, I, um, I'm not saying that it was like a meme pick. I was saying that this is the suit that I see him play the most. Oh, yeah, and that's because that's the suit that this is the suit that he plays the most. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's what Alrighty. I mean. I actually am interested in how, how this is, is matchup's going to play out because one thing with DX actually is that in order to put out his barrage, 
He's actually burning like almost constantly when you think about it. And normally that's not a big deal, but Hot Scramble has, I mean, I mean, not Hot Scramble, Hainu has funnels, right? So like if you're burning constantly versus Hainu, I wonder how that matchup plays out. I'm a little bit interested in such things, you know? I, I mean, I want to say up. that at the very least, D, uh, DX can get out of jail free with that at least once with the BC Fastballs and with 2B. In fact, with 2B, I feel like he can actually evade funnels a little better than a lot of other suits can. If yeah, only yeah, because he's able to chuck he's... projectiles while stepping. Yeah, yeah, but the idea that he's still, like, burnering all the time, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's exactly. Pretty it's a pretty uh, threatening thing in terms of, like, you know, you're, you're fighting funnels. Like, you're fighting funnels while you're burning all the time. I think one thing in the Jaime matchup that I, I don't like, that I think is, like, really important to do is, like, you shouldn't push in when Jaime has, has, has a cycle frame mode at all. There's no reason to push in on that. Pretty much. Because... I mean, it's just the idea of, like, you don't fight someone who has burst for no reason, you know what I'm saying? Oh! Uh, does all special? Oh, no. Right, five HP. He gets knocked out of it. Oh, uh, he's not gonna get the air. Oh, but he gets the melee combo. Is it right, big damage. He burst out. I respect it. Okay, okay. Hey, this is looking pretty good for them still. Um, I think Gotron, like, got an outplay situation on Hainu because Hainu's held him very low. Even though was okay. Alright, Zal's down. Uh, Gotron may not... Oh, okay, the Gotron burst. But... Okay. Gotron right. burst, but gets hit by the funnels. Okay, but Gotron uh, hits um, Pan's Eye and knocks him off him or something. Okay, this is actually still looking. Oh, wow! The MA mode, but Master Mirror, this, uh, King Sim takes the shot. Oh my god. Alright, okay. Zal's chilling back with these missiles. Kibble staying so, behind. This is, this is really good. This is really good right now. Yeah, this is very wonderful for them. I think Kibble just needs to play, just needs to chill and not get hit. And just focus on that. Because I think. Oh, the oh, I, uh, the landing from downtown! Just as I was saying that. Okay. That was from five miles away. Hainu's, bur Hainu's bursting and going in on Q because he knows Q doesn't have another burst. Uh. That's it. See? See that situation? This is why E burst is so important and the importance of like doing like a really, really careful uh, burst on your first life. Because in that situation, did you see as soon as Cubelay respawn, Rosen's like, okay, this guy's no burst, so I'm going to go beat the shit out of him. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then what can Cubelay do in that situation? Like, you've lost on resources. Okay. That's a big thing. Like, you just saw it in action, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, but... Because he literally, uh... literally, as soon as Cubelay responds, no, no, with no E, just, like, runs him down and kills him. Like, straight up. Like, Cubelay's got great self-defense, but, like, you know, what are you gonna do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if someone's burst on you, because the burst is literally just how you're able to just force damage, so it's like... Exactly. If you don't exactly. have resources, you basically lose at that point. Yeah, exactly. Checkmate da. Checkmate da. Checkmate da. Uh, do I need to back out of the room or anything? Is Zal asking for anything? Uh, no, no Zal hasn't said anything else. Okay. okay. Then I'm going I would to imagine at this point they don't want any changes because I don't know if Gotron plays any other back suits. No, I go also don't know if they do. Uh, Gotron has a Reborns, but I think it's safe to assume Haman Foot Sweat Ah will be playing Haman Cupola. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know that uh, he has a reborns, but I would imagine they're not switching up the front back coordination yeah. here. I, hey, yeah. they could do re hey, the reborn Mo reborns Montero is a thing, but um, reborns Montero is a thing. Reborns Montero is a thing because all the Montero is actually fucking nasty, I think. Uh, and, his Montero is horrifying, but yeah, last match that is the stuff of nightmares. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, Rosen takes a free punish, so just gets a little too greedy sending funnels. I'm watching Rosen's perspective. I am also watching, <laughs> uh, I was also watching Team Beijing Please Carry Me perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Beijing Champion carries me. <laughs> oh god. I don't know what he's the champion of. I don't, like, I know he's the Beijing Champion, but I don't know who the tournament is. Oh my god. Okay, he's got Psycho Frame mode, so he's probably just gonna pop that and start going in. Pop in Psycho Frame and. Right. Zal is mostly chasing down Panzai right now, and, and, and uh, um, what's it? Expecting uh, uh, Gatron to protect himself, almost to the name, and I can do it. <laughs> I was about to say, Ponza and Rosen have actually both bled kind of equally here. Yeah, definitely. Q but bursting I think the out. Thing is, I think the thing with this with their team is that they're just kind of uh, Ponza's just kind of going in because he's very like he likes to fight. So he's he's just going in and fighting, and if he dies, then Rosen will transition to playing. Like as and it doesn't matter how low your health is if you're not. Just oh, OTG kill. Very yeah, nice. That's, that's very spicy. It's all with his uh, it's all with the DX burst shenanigans. I think DX is truly as high as he is because it's- Oh, that unblockable setup was so spicy! That was spicy. Oh, it gets the kill on Zal! Double locking on Cubile, and that's um, that! Does Cubile have- Does Cubile have burst? I'm checking right now. Oh shit. Um, Q 
Cube does have burst, so uh, Okay, Cube has burst on deck, so they Cube should be able to live. Oh uh, yeah, five, five burst. Okay, burst. Oh no! Burst to get out, but then gets hit by no, X1! No, that takes too much damage from X1! Even the E burst doesn't save Cube in this situation. <clears throat> I'm so sad, I want to see more of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> I would have said that, I would have said, um... If, I think the the play would have been for the Q blade to burst after they get hit, or, as opposed to like right before, because you know obviously the damage from X one like you die through the burst, even with the E burst. Oh man, but that's five zero, and I'm I'm feeling bad because if Zal wanted to swap off of Hot Scramble one game ago. Hey, do you guys, want, you can just do one more if you want, honestly. Oh, if that's man. how it is, like oh, I don't think anyone minds. Zal has already left. Alrighty. So I'm gonna feel bad if that was the case. But if that All is right, the well, case, if that's the case, and that's what Zal wanted to do, if you're in chat right now, Zal, I'm buying you a pizza if that was the case. So you can lie to me right now and get a free pizza delivered to your house. Telling okay, you that right I, now. Okay, but can you buy me a pizza? <laughs> <sighs> I'll think about it. Wow, what's that? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Keep... You know what? I'm going to pay you for the commentary. Well, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. It's not like that, it's not like that. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm paying you for the commentary by buying you a pizza. No, it's not like that, it's not like that, it's not like that, it's not like that. It's not like that. All right, well. But regardless, so I guess that's going to end the first of the Amazing Versus exhibitions. Obviously, we're going through some little, like, uh... We're still thinking things out with what we want to do with this, I guess. But, like, I know that from the start, we definitely want to do more of these. And, like, would you say that that's still a thing, uh, Ozzy, Andrew? Uh, yeah, sure. yes, for sure. Okay. I had a lot of fun. Okay, so then I guess I'm going to start trying to think about doing these maybe once or twice a month. Uh, probably, again, during weekdays so I don't uh, step on the toes of any of the big tournaments. Because okay, that S suits me as well. Because SVO really is all, all encompassing, and uh, I don't want to step on their toes or Danger Times toes or anyone. But I definitely think that doing some exhibitions and kind of showing some higher level gameplay outside of a tournament setting with like longer form sets would be. I I feel like that's something that's like that's kind of needed for North America, and it's something that I'd really like to see more of. Yeah, so, I'm, um, I enjoy it a lot, um, and thank you for letting me come on and do commentary. I really appreciate it. Oh, no, I, I absolutely loved it. Thank you, my dude. Oh, okay. I oh, know. You're very welcome, man. But uh, I hope that you all enjoyed the uh, inaugural episode, I guess, session of uh, Amazing Verses. Uh, we will definitely try to reach out to more people. Uh, get more pe uh, more higher level players involved and even people that are still relatively new if they want to get in and get in games I am more than willing to have that as well because I feel like on this stage everyone should have an opportunity to come on play someone the, their same skill level above skill level whatever and just see what they can learn in a situation like this because at the end of the day uh, I think the biggest thing about Mbon that I love is just sitting down and just watching people learn this game because it, it, it really, it just gives me a rush of serotonin. I absolutely love it. Like, yeah, so. yeah, for sure. I think it's like I, I, I thought it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun seeing a lot of different like, uh, like, like new players and old players fighting each other and seeing what happens. That yeah. But at this point, uh, I'm just rambling. Uh, is there anything that uh, you two would need to say, Andrew, Ozzy? Um, uh, no. I think I'm pretty good. Yeah, uh, Mbot's cool. That's <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Mbot right. is cool. Please purchase. Uh, yeah, everyone. Bye, guys. Everyone, uh, please purchase Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme Versus for the Sony PlayStation 4 Computer Entertainment System. And that is all. So, I guess before right. I head out, uh, is there, is there anybody... We can raid. Is there anybody currently playing the Bundam? The Bundam. Uh, let's see. Buy you shawarma. You know what? Fuck it, Holly. I'll do it. Uh, Dingo. I've seen him hop into my lobbies in the past. You know what? Yeah. You know what? This man's playing Embon. Let's raid 
Let's make sure I'm getting this name right because I don't want to pull a Brett where I type in hella Brett and it turns out it's the Brett. <sighs> Oh my god. Hmm. It really do be like that sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm probably gonna get off the VC, but it had a lot of fun. Thanks for inviting me, you guys. It's all good. And then uh for those wondering about stream stuff, uh I will be back tomorrow, but probably not with Gundam, because I'm still waiting on my hands to heal. Uh, I'm probably gonna be playing some Digimon, so it's gonna be a bit of like a chill thing, I guess. But hopefully Dude, Lupus Rex. Oh oh god, Lupus Rex mon. <laughs> Dude, Yo, like Digimon, Mi Mi Mikazuki mod. <laughs> Mikazuki, I don't like that. <laughs> IBO mod. Oh god, Orf Testament hates orphan. Orphan mod. <laughs> Orphans orphan no Nabi mod. Damon. Oh my Dude, god. Orphan mod. But with that, I'm gonna close off. We're gonna raid Dingo. Uh, thank you all so much. We're going to get talks in the work, or in the works, to kind of flesh out what we want to do with this event and uh, work out any of the kinks that uh, we might have had along the way. But thank you all so much for stopping by, so much for playing, and we will see you all later. All right, take it easy, you guys. Thanks for having me again, and it was a pleasure, so.